All right, let's get started. And uh, I hope my audio is okay. Feel free to let me know if it's a little off or anything, because I did uh, turn up the game audio a bit. I noticed it was like a little quiet in the past. But uh, here we are, it's a rainy Thursday in Athalia. <laughs> I see a diggy spot up here. Ah, oh, I don't have a shovel though. It's one of those days where my shovel must have poofed and I didn't replace it. Uh, don't you all feel that sometimes? Like you don't really want to... Like your, your shovel breaks or something and you're like, Oh, I'll deal with it later. <laughs> Oh, and hey Cody and Mercy and everyone who was uh, hanging out in the starting soon. Hope you all are doing well today. We had a lovely uh, meteor shower party last night. Oh, and hi Helly, welcome on in, thanks for the host. Oh, and Jamskin with that two month resub. Uh, Jamskin, thank you so so much for that two months of support and Welcome back to the Force Fam for two months. Uh, that means so much, Jamskin. I've really enjoyed having you here in the community. I hope you had a lovely birthday recently. Uh, Jamskin had a birthday last weekend. Uh, thank you all so much for that hype and love and chat. And uh, so I'm still kind of walking around collecting star fragments from last night from my lovely uh, meteor shower, getting tons of dupes, guys. So many dupes. Look at this. Dupe. Dupe. <laughs> Dupe. Like, what am I supposed to do with all these? God. <laughs> Every single recipe I've gotten today has been a dupe. But yeah, I'll just drop them here. I kind of like to drop them near Melanthe's house, and um, I think a lot of my visitors kind of know that. I think you all kind of wander over here, like, when you come over. I think a lot of the frequent uh, visitors of Athalia know that's where I keep my little pile. Oh, and hey Devon, how are you today? Sometimes the game does that. Uh, what are you referring to, Helly? But yeah, getting lots of star fragments, Taurus ones. I'm a little bummed because I didn't really get quite as many of the Aries ones, so if I ever want to make an Aries rocking chair, I pretty much have to wait until, like, next year, I guess. Ah, oh, still no shovel. I gotta go uh, buy a shovel, I guess. If I'm gonna be lazy, I should just go buy one. Get any large or Taurus fragments? I did. Everything that's in my pockets today are ones that I got. So I guess I got two large ones. And I got six Taurus fragments. That's a lot. Six? Jeez. Oh, and hi, Rotisserie. It's cool to see you again. I remember you from the catalog party over the weekend. Yeah, that was a thing, that catalog party. <laughs> the last time I streamed, we were wrapping up the catalog party, and I hope everyone's been enjoying their beefed up catalogs. Oh, you got two large as well, Mercy? That's great. I hope everyone else that um, attended my meteor shower got some cool stuff. Oh, looks like Melba's home. I don't know if I've found like the crafter for this time of day yet. <laughs> now that I know how it works where there's like a morning crafter, there's like an afternoon crafter and an evening crafter, I kind of like to pop in at those times. But yeah, Melba's not crafting. Oh, this is Helly! Hello, Blue and Chat. So recently I saw Finn from Mist. I saw Finn watering all our flowers for us. Oh, so apparently Helly like watered some flowers and Melba was like spying on you through the window. <laughs> Melba had her eyes on you. I think it's so cute how the villagers do that. Sometimes they'll even like comment like if you sell turnips in a town or something, they'll be like, oh, I saw so-and-so making bank selling turnips in our town. <laughs> Going through getting dupes of recipes. I've had good luck with those this week, though. Oh, that's good, Helly. I feel like that's gonna be something we'll have to deal with when the game gets older. Like, I think eventually we'll reach a point of progress in our towns where, like, every single thing we get is gonna be a dupe. That's just my little theory. 
Isn't Chipper's house kind of snazzy? Don't y'all kind of like this classy vibe for Chipper? Doesn't I need to mail her like a new shirt though. I really I really need to dress Chipper up a bit more. Don't you find the light from a floor lamp like this terribly relaxing? I guess so. Purple light can help one fall asleep, a green light makes one more creative. Well, that's what I read in Home Lighting for a Happy Cow. <laughs> Can't wait for Virgo season, I need the Virgo harp so much. Uh, me too, Cody, that's one of my favorites. Um, I'm after a lot of the um, astrology furniture though, I pretty much won every single one for like various rooms. I think I'm going to use some of them as like outdoor decor, like do you know the one that looks kind of like a lamp? I'm going to probably use those like outside the museum. <laughs> Finally able to make your home look decent, oh that's good rotisserie. How did the catalog party go? Life's been a bit crazy, so I haven't kept up with the Discord. Um, it went, uh, I'm not gonna lie, Jamskin, it was kind of a mess at times. Uh, the server went down in the middle of our catalog party, which, you know, it's just our luck. Like, it was the most ironic thing ever. Like, we had never done a catalog party before, and then we try to do it, and the server drops, like, right in the middle of it. It was, it was something. And we had these glitches where, you know, people would try to pick up items and they couldn't. They would try to drop items and they couldn't. Like, I n I've never had a problem picking up items in the game before or dropping them. It always works just fine. But then for our catalog party, it was glitched. But yeah, other than that, I mean, uh, I think a lot of people got some uh, good stuff. And I think we should try to do it again. Maybe, um... I don't know ways that we could improve it or whatever, but we could try to find ways to improve it, make it go smoother. Oh, you didn't get any larger Taurus ones, Beth? I'm sorry about that. That uh, bums me out a little bit because I know you spent some time making wishes and we're probably hoping for something better. <laughs> oh, look at Shever with her donut. She's calling me adorable. Oh, and hi, Dark and I. <laughs> um, do you all like my new look for Glyneth? I'm trying something new. Let me know if you like this better or if you like her default hair, like her wavy hair. Because um, I'm trying to be like more unique looking and less, um, I guess, common. <laughs> trying to spice up Glyneth's look a little bit. Oh, you had Tipper, Nan, and... Uh, as well, Cody. Yeah, I'm thinking about having Eric as my lazy because I do really like his house. And I haven't found the crafter yet. I'm gonna go check on these townies over here. The Pisces lamp. Yeah, that's the one that I was thinking of. But yeah, earlier today it was Sterling who was crafting. Now I wonder if it's Plucky or Nan. <laughs> that sounds stressful. Sorry, it didn't go smoothly. Yeah, it kind of took a lot out of me, like, just the fact that I was, um, having to make up for the catalog party on Sunday, it kind of, like, set me back in a way, because Sunday's usually, like, an off day for me. Oh, she's making an iron shelf. I wonder what that is. I wonder if it's another dupe. Oh, and hi, Dumpling. Welcome on in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what point you entered the catalog party stream, but yeah, it was a little stressful at times. So... Oh, I have to learn it first. I always do that. Oh, yay, it's a new one! Uh, finally, a new dupe, or, or not a new dupe, a new recipe that isn't a dupe today. Let's see what it looks like. So, sort by order obtained. I'm starting to get so many that it's 
annoying to find them sometimes. Oh, I think I've... I don't know. I think I have something similar to this, but maybe it's different. And I got this raccoon figurine this morning. I got this star pochette last night from C from Celeste. So yeah, getting some good stuff. Oh, thanks for the feedback, Dumpling. Yeah, I was wondering whether y'all would like the bun wig more or not. Oh, and hi, Ginger. How are you today? Hope you're doing good. Look at my trio of like monsters here. Aren't they so cool? And uh, we have Sahara here as well. I've already kind of bugged her for the day, which I think is good because Sahara is like a lot of dialogue over and over, like basically just the same dialogue box again and again. So I'm glad I kind of got that out of the way, like off stream. I'm gonna go get a shovel though, because that's really starting to get on my nerves that I don't have a shovel. Oh, you like her original look a lot, Jamskin? Yeah, maybe I can go back to that. Oh, and Winnie is also a new neighbor that uh, moved in since I last streamed. I think she's really cute. I like Winnie a lot. What kind of stuff do you usually buy, Glyneth? Me, I always go for the sparkliest thing on the shelf. But that stuff's not, you know, always useful, so I always have to come back and buy useful stuff. I do like that uh, writing thing right there. I like that, like, shelf um, writing desk, I guess it would be called. <laughs> oh, I appreciate the honest feedback, Cody. It's been thunderstorming all day, so I'm a bit sleepy. Oh, that sounds lovely. I love, um sleepy sorts of like thunderstorm days. Um, my day's been okay. I did have um, work earlier and did a good job stuck in the book table. I even posted like a little tour of my book table on uh, my Instagram story to like show off my hard work. And um, I didn't be quite as productive in preparing for stream today as I'd like. I kind of wanted to figure out where I want to put my museum before stream so that I could like start to work on moving it and everything, but I, I still don't really know where I want to put it, so I figure for this stream we could either just um, do some interior decorating, like with our new catalog stuff, or um, I could uh, play with landscaping that already exists, like work on gardening areas that already exist around town, or just kind of like play through the day and see what happens. Oh yeah, the rain gear from my villagers. Um, I also saw my um, one of my villagers sing for the very first time today. I had never seen any of my villagers sing, but I saw Nan um, singing a song over by the, the shell speaker that I have on my beach. And it was like the cutest thing ever. I must not have seen a lot of videos of villagers singing online before because it was just, I have never seen anything so cute in my life. Uh, it was like Nan, I don't even know exactly what she was singing, like uh, it must have been what was ever in the like shell speaker. Okay, so my pockets are full. Some of it's stuff I want to keep though, so I better just, for the most part, like head back to my house and dump stuff in storage. Winnie's so cute. Yeah, I think she's like underrated. I really... I really think she's quite adorable. There's something like about her eyes too. Oh, she's talking about a homework set. Here I wanted to show off her eyes, but she's still looking at that item. I wonder what she would do if I bought it for her. Do you think she would like put it in her house? I've never like tried to do this before. This is totes me. I don't know, it's not letting me talk to her. <laughs> okay, I was trying to buy that homework set for her because she was looking at it. I guess that's not how it works. Let me try talking to her now. 
Oh, okay. Maybe I can give it to her later. Oh, have a good eat, Brad. Oh, and hi, Leah. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing good. Oh, cool, Cody. That sounds uh, neat. Ordering a microphone. Uh, do you know which mic you're gonna get? I don't know how you can work in the book section. I'd want to read them instead of working. Uh, I don't really know a lot of the books that I stock. I don't know. It's like a lot of like... The, the authors we get like all the time at Costco are like John Grisham and James Patterson. Like it feels like they get like a new book in like every single week or something. Like that's a lot of what we have at my book table. Yeah, Winnie, um, to me it's nice to, you know, she might not be my favorite puppy either. My favorite puppy is probably Ruby, but sometimes it is nice to have, like, new faces and meet new villagers. And I'm picking a lot of my villagers based off of, like, their house exterior. And I'm gonna, like, you know, put them in places in town where their house exterior is gonna look, like, extra fitting. Gosh, I might have enough, like, large star fragments I could actually, like, make something good with it or, like, uh, craft something fancy. Oh, and I think I got this candle from Dark and I in chat. Sent me one off my wish list. This candle comes in, like, a bunch of different colors, like, black and white and gold and copper. And I kind of want the candle in, like, every single color. <laughs> Um, and I really like this antique clock. I kind of want to put this somewhere in Glenna's house, probably. Oh, they have to be moved in for a while before you can give them items. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait for her to... <laughs> I don't know, it's probably not worth it. I thought the mechanic of the game was suggesting me to buy that to her in that moment. So now that, like... That didn't end up being the mechanic that I thought it was. Like, might as well give her something better than a, than a homework set. But yeah, this is what I got from Sahara today. I got the cityscape wall, which is really pretty, but definitely not a Thalia aesthetic. Not at all, but it's very pretty. And I got the stormy night wall. Which, I've already got one of these, so maybe I can put this one up for trade. I've already got one of these. And boxing ring mat. I don't know why this game is so obsessed with, like, boxing stuff. Like, there's, like, several furniture items dedicated to a boxing ring. There's, like, several walls and floors dedicated to it. I don't know. I don't know what this game's deal is with the, with the boxing stuff. It's not like there's a basketball court in the game. It's not like there's, like, a, a soccer field. I don't know why it's so popular to have all the boxing stuff. But yeah, I'll just put some of the Sahara stuff in my dresser. Oh, and hi Zenrin and Stell Pots. Hope you all are doing good. Oh, you think my entrance is looking good, Jamskin? I haven't actually changed it a whole lot lately and I'm a little self-conscious that like I'm so slow at designing things that's part of why I made the title what it is just like a kind of poking fun at myself the fact that like I'm as slow as I am <laughs> there's a lot of Grisham and Patterson in the bookshop I work into yeah I guess that's just not the sort of thing I seek out if I was to seek out something new to read it would probably be like a fantasy book or something like not what's latest on the um, bestsellers list for this very week or whatever. Oh, and hi, Ice Cream Bear. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, you sent a copper candle to me too, Mercy. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I know that one was from Dark and I, though. I had it, like, in my inventory today because I just got it today. But I did, up late, I did update my wish list so that no more like um things like that can happen like my wish list is all updated to things that i actually still need finally updated it after that catalog party oh i have to be better friends with her in order to give her things 
Interesting. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, well, I'm definitely like open to uh, giving away the ice cream or to giving the uh, stormy night wallpaper away uh, ice cream, but I do a lot of my trading through Discord, so just in order for us to like be in touch, I recommend you join that if you're interested in doing a trade. But yeah, um, I'm definitely open to trading some of my Sahara dupes. <laughs> Boxing is fun, it's all for Rooney. Oh, is Rooney a boxer? Oh, and hi Nookling Junction, welcome in. I guess I could look around for some fossils now that I have my aesthetic floral shovel. So I could look for fossils, donate this art piece that I got from Dark Nye's town. Uh, Dark Nye kindly open it, opened their gates so that I could come and buy this painting. And uh, let's see what my bulletin board messages are. Ah, oh, Colton's birthday is coming up. And this is from Nookling Junction, I think. This is a uh, Tara. And then else, elsewhere, it's just kind of the older messages. I guess those are my two new ones. Oh, you have a mossy garden wall on the floor. Ooh, those are nice. What you thinking about, Elvis? Oh, you're gonna give me a plant. You can send her something in the mail. Yeah, I guess that's another option other than um, doing that like direct giving sort of thing. Ah, uh, yeah, in my quest for finding today's fossils, I guess I can clean up the flowers a little bit as well. I'm trying desperately to like grow another purple hyacinth because I think it speeds up the process a lot once you get two, but. I'm having trouble growing them from scratch. I'm like growing just about every other color other than purple, which honestly probably makes sense according to those guides and stuff. A lot of those guides say that like the purple flowers are like 5% chance spawning and stuff like that. So I guess it's no wonder that I haven't gotten one yet. It's pretty rare. Oh, Nookling. <laughs> That's so kind of you. Okay, have a good one, ice cream. Oh, you were busy uh, terraforming earlier, Heli. Um, yeah, I'd really like to get some more terraforming done as well, but sometimes I like to have more of a plan when I'm terraforming on stream because otherwise it's just me doing trial and over, trial and error over and over. Oh, and hi, Pika. Happy Thursday. Welcome to stream. How's it going, Pika? Oh, you're obsessed with the shovel and bought six of them, Jamskin? I admit, I, I'm starting to get my favorites as well. I really like this shovel because I feel like it goes with her, like, peasant aesthetic and uh, with all the florals and everything. And uh, what's another one I like? I think there's, like, a, a black watering can that I'm pretty fond of as well. It didn't really occur to me to buy like extras of them though. Like I just kind of buy them when I'm, when mine are broken. Rooney is a boxing kangaroo. Ah, oh, I didn't really know that about him. I mean, I know that he's a blue kangaroo. I didn't know he was a boxing kangaroo. Oh, Leah. Leah's the one that gave me my first purple hyacinth that I've been trying to, like, clone. Um, I've had the best luck cloning flowers after, like, a rainy day like this. Like, um, I don't know. It's just worked to the best. <gasps> Am I crazy? Did I get one to spawn? Ah, oh, did I get another one? How did I miss this? I played earlier today, guys. What am I doing? Oh, yay! But Leah, that was really generous of you to offer, but I guess now that I have two, like, uh, you definitely don't have to. You can keep them for yourself if you want, because I know these are really valuable. They could probably even go for, like, a lot, like, on trading sites and stuff. Ah, I'm so happy. 
Oh, thank you so much for the purple hyacinth pipe. <laughs> oh, thanks, Pika. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Had a good day at work, and in general, like, I'm feeling, like, really positive lately. Like, I feel like it, a few things, like, clicked into my pla into place in my head about, like, my mental health, about, like, how important sleep is, uh, both for, like, being able to do things creatively, to be able to stick to my streaming schedule, to just, um, I don't know, like, I, I feel like I'm turning over a new leaf and I'm gonna be a lot better from here on out and get enough sleep, because uh, for a little while there I was kind of neglecting it. Oh, Pika, thank you for the purple hyacinth pipe. How fitting that that little purple gem up on the screen is matching, uh, matching the flower. Uh, thank you so much for that support, Pika. <laughs> uh, my blue rose garden is very healthy. <laughs> it's starting to get out of hand, but I'm sure I can spread them out around town eventually, but just as far as this breeding garden, it's getting out of hand. <laughs> ah, what does Nan want with me? Can I get your help with something? Plucky is always helping me out, so I bought her a present. But now I feel funny just walking up to her with a gift out of the blue. I wonder if you'd mind giving it to her for me. Ah, oh, cool, an errand. I don't get a lot of these in New Horizons. You're trying to get a purple windflower, Pika? Oh, good luck. Um, I did grow mine from scratch, which I'm really proud about. Like. I remember losing faith and I just was not trusting those guides anymore and then I kept trying and I finally like got one randomly from my like hybrid red pansies or uh no we're talking about windflowers but yeah I managed to grow a purple windflower from scratch. Oh and hi Misty Towns. I saw your introduction over in uh, Discord Misty. It was nice to meet you and uh, welcome on in, but I hope you have a good night for now. Sometimes I do wonder if I should try to start stream earlier when I can, just for like the European folks. Yeah, let's deliver this uh, present from Nan for Plucky. Oh, and hey Lunchka, I'm so it makes me happy that you're happy to see my stream. Uh, thank you Lunchka, hope you're doing good too. <laughs> from Nan, what's the occasion? Does it matter what the occasion is? A collarless shirt? <laughs> That's oddly specific. We must be reading the same catalogs. This is so great that I kind of want to put it on right now. Ooh, wardrobe change for Plucky. Oh, okay, so I can deny this if I want, but let let's see what she looks like in it. <laughs> Close your eyes and I'll toss it on. Oh, okay, it's very plain. It ain't too out of character. I would say it is kind of out of character for Plucky, but... Yeah, I'm gonna say, well... All I'm asking is for some honesty. I look like I'm wearing a trash bag, don't I? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't think it suits her. <laughs> oh, she feels like a wilted flower. Uh, okay. Thanks for the bit. Uh, I hope if there's a mod in here, y'all can get on that. Don't appreciate that. It'd be nice if I was the kind of girl who looks good in that stuff, but I'm me and that's that. Still, Nan was thinking of me. Can't beat that for a present. <laughs> So, I got a track jacket in return. Oh, thank you, Leah. <laughs> you don't have to, though. My turnip prices were $5.22 yesterday, about to check to see if it went up or down. Uh, based on what someone told me in Discord, it usually goes down, like, once it gets past 200 or so. Like, that's probably your peak, and it's gonna be down from here. Oh, thank you, Pika. 
Oh, you got a cloned uh, blue rose from mine the other day. That's uh, good to hear, Pika. And um, I do still have a few people's items over here that hopefully I'll be able to get to them eventually. But we're on our fossil hunt right now. Oh, so you can customize these tools so you don't need to hunt for specific variations. Oh, thank you for the tip, Cody. I even wondered if you could customize like the plain ones, like, you know, the plain ones you craft from wood and stuff. But I guess not. What's your town tune? Um, my town tune is actually like something kind of weird. I tried to transcribe Prelude to the Afternoon of a Fawn by WC or whatever, however you say his name, but um, it didn't really like work super well. I'm not really happy with it. I've just been kind of lazy to like come up with something different. I was thinking maybe like Claire de Lune. Oh, you made 10 mil yesterday, Maybelle? Well, congratulations on that. How do you make that much money? Um, it was a slow burn for me as well, but I remember making like 100k based off of like fishing and then investing some of that 100k into the stock market. Then I made my first million and then I think I wasted a lot of that first million, but Basically, the whole idea is like you invest in the stock market, you make gains, you invest more, make more gains. It's like a cascading effect, basically. <laughs> Congrats on all the good turnip prices. Yeah, I think there were a few this week. I was debating whether or not I should sell when mine got to like 200, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because... I sold mine in a town that was like over 500 and made quite a good profit on it. Oh, and hi Titch, welcome to stream, hope you're doing good. Oh look, it's a large one over there. Uh, if you guys don't know, they keep spawning over and over, like they're basically kind of like shells. You gotta like keep refreshing your walks along the beach to get all the star fragments. How many more fossils do you need? I think I need one, but it's taking me so long to get that last one. Um, I actually don't really know. We could take a trip to my museum today if you if you all want. We can take a look at what I still need, but um, yeah, I think I'm missing more than one. <laughs> oh, and enjoy your lurk, Beth. <laughs> you like the new look of uh, Glyneth Lunska? Yeah, I think I might go back and forth between a few different looks to see what I like best. I do like the, the long wavy hair probably the best. It reminds me of my own hair. Oh, do you still need to sell your turnips, Pika? Well, good luck. I hope you get a good price. Ah, I'm so lazy about digging up these holes. I wish they would just... I don't know, go away automatically easier. And uh, Maybelle, I do recommend uh, checking out the Discord for any sort of like trading requests like that. Like we do have a trade section over there. Uh, I do say that I, I had a white TV like that, the one that you're like asking about. I had it at my store the other day and I actually elected not to buy it. Um, because I was like, I don't really need a big TV for my medieval style town. It's like a little too modern for me. Ah, oh, Pika, thank you so much for the cheer. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, we can head over to the museum once I get all my fossils, which I think I just need one more. You'd think it would be super easy to find my fossils in this town because my land is just so flat. Like, I pretty much just gotta wander around like all the flat fields everywhere to find it. I like this hairstyle for her just because thinking practically, it would be nice to have your hair up while cutting wood, but she doesn't always have to be cutting wood. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking too. Like. 
um, either like a bun or a ponytail or something since she is like a, a peasant woodcutter character she would probably want to keep her hair out of her eyes while she's uh, cutting wood and stuff like that but um, yeah it's just a matter of like balancing like head cannons versus aesthetics wow I might have to like spread out my blue roses somewhere else these are just sprouting up missing two fossils. I always disliked that part of Animal Crossing because scrambling for the last ones. Yeah, I um, I know that feeling but at the same time with the fossils I'm always like really really chill about it because um, you can play this game for so long that you don't even really have to like trade for the fossils. I mean they will show up eventually just through like pure RNG so that's actually my preferred way to do it. I just get them assessed, and if they're new, I donate them. If they're old, I sell them. <laughs> but it kind of disappoints me how little fossils are worth in this game. That used to be one of like the big ways that I made money, essentially. Um, but it feels like every time I sell all my fossils these days, it's like 10,000 bells or something. Like, I thought stuff like the T-Rex was like five grand alone. I don't know. I just, uh, I feel like the fossils are way too cheap compared to like the some of these items in the game like the the TV and everything oh and hey Joey welcome to stream she can change the hairstyle depending on what she's up to yeah I gotta keep up with y'all fast fashionistas that are in my community like some of you change your look practically every day or every time I see you you're wearing something new like I need to be like you guys keep up with the fashion but yeah it is raining today so hopefully I'll get even more lovely hybrids tomorrow extra fossils were so good to sell yeah I feel like they don't they're not worth as much as they should be they should be worth a hell of a lot more because Come on, if a TV is worth like 99,000 bells, like a fossil should be worth more than a TV. <laughs> yeah, they adjusted the economy for like real realism in some aspects, but they did not keep up with the realism of the fossils. I feel like they would be worth more. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you all feel the same way. I was shocked the first time I sold fossils. I thought Tommy made a mistake. Oh, I'm glad I'm not alone. I wonder why they would make a change like that. I mean, this game, like, things are so expensive. Might as well help us out with the fossils, you know? But yeah, let's see if we got any new ones here. And uh, then I can maybe donate that painting as well. And go check it out. Timmy and Tommy don't know the value of ancient artifacts, only electronics. <laughs> yes, it almost makes sense in a way. They're they're retail workers. They have no use for these. Blathers would probably pay a lot more for them. So I guess none of those were new. Yeah, that's actually how it is. Like a lot of weeks for me. Um, a lot of weeks, uh, none of the fossils are new. I'll see you later, Rotisserie. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you feel better. Is that a serene painting and the genuine article, no less? Yes, it is, indubitably. Tis even more magnif magnificent than I imagined. Uh, he doesn't really talk about uh, the art too much. But we'll go and read the details of it over in the exhibit. And I still have no marble statues, not even any fake ones, but uh, that's something I look forward to uh, starting to get when Red shows up again, hopefully. And Pudge! Look at Pudge being a connoisseur of art over here. <laughs> Fancy running into you here. 
Oh, Pudge is about to fall asleep in the art exhibit. But then his tummy rumbled and woke him up. <laughs> but yeah, I got this Van Gogh painting over here. I've got this um, kind of Asian woodcut painting right there. Well, it's not a painting. And back here, I wonder where the serene painting ended up. But yeah, back here I have Las Meninas. Oh, and there's where uh, the lady with the ermine ended up. Let's zoom in on it. So that's a nice uh, close-up view of it. Oil on Wood Panel by Leonardo da Vinci. One of only four portraits of women painted by da Vinci, one of which is the Mona Lisa. Yeah, I haven't gotten that one yet. I did get a fake Mona Lisa, though. Some believe that the ermine is not actually an ermine, but rather a white ferret. I'm not sure if I'm saying that word right. Ermine or ermine? Oh, hi, Lewis. You just finished an exam as well. I think a lot of uh, you are in the same boat. I think it's kind of like exam season or final season, whatever you want to call it. It's cool how the paintings are different sizes this time. Yeah, they kind of made them like realistic to real life sorts of things. Like they're kind of like scaled in position to each other. Oh, wow. This is looking a lot more filled up than it used to be. It's interesting how some of these, like, look so, like, pale and plain. Like, I don't know, like, these bubbles and these mushrooms are, like, this whitish, almost translucent color, and then it moves on to, like, the bony stuff. But yeah, I wonder if this part is full. <laughs> Why is there a pickle in that jar? And let's see if we can spot any ones that are missing over here. Uh, this all looks pretty complete to me. And I got this big boy now. I remember I was missing like the middle of this for a long time, but I think this one's like all full now. And what's this one? Ah, it doesn't really let me, like, pan up in here. That kind of gets on my nerves. But you can stand over here to get a full view. Ah, um, is this one that I'm missing, or is there nothing right here? But yeah, I got some other good fossils. Um, I might be missing, like, the tail or something. That one looks kind of incomplete. Yeah, I think I'm missing the Iguanodon head, possibly. So, Iguanodon head. It also looks like I might be missing one of these, too. Stegosaurus head. Lucky that I don't have exams, but I have a bunch of essays to write. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm kind of glad to be done with that school life. I remember it, though. <laughs> uh, I got pretty bad there towards the end. A lot of times, like, I didn't study as much as I s should for, like, tests and whatnot. <laughs> but um, I remember essays used to just take me forever because I'm such a perfectionist. Uh, yeah, and I'm missing the pecking man. So I do see like three fossils that I'm missing just off of the top of my head. But I think that might be it because a lot of other stuff looks complete. But it is hard to like keep track. But yeah, uh, the fossil exhibit is coming along really well. It's nice to see it looking so full after I remember when I first got the museum and I marveled like at its scale and how gorgeous and big it is and everything like uh but at the same time it was so empty there was like nothing in any of the exhibits but now it's starting to look a lot more respectable i think i still need to get on like the april fish though like i haven't gotten a lot of the april ones this summer is so promising for me and i'm so excited to enjoy new horizons more Ooh, i'm glad that um 
You're looking at your summer with such a positive... Ah, oh, Nimrods, thank you so much for that six month resub. Such a long time, the longest amount of time you can be subbed to this channel. Uh, my first ever subscriber. Thank you so much, Nimrats, for that continued support, and I hope you're doing really well today. Congrats on your little baby tree. Um, your acorn has officially grown up into like a little baby tree. All those emotes. Yeah, we do have a few like um, bit emotes and stuff. Alright, so I guess I'm done with like the fossils in the museum and uh, I guess I can sell them. I wonder what I should get doing today. But thanks for the hype and love and chat for that six month resub. And my hybrid breeding is going along pretty good. Might want to like move these to an official spot. I wonder where you would like put a hybrid breeding garden in such like a bulldoze town. Like where where is safe from terraforming? Still finding star fragments. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's go and sell these fossils. Oh, thank you BSW. I certainly don't think so much, but I'm hoping to start getting there. I want to work on uh, some new paths pretty soon. I'm kind of thinking of starting this thing, which might be kind of ambitious, but I'm thinking of starting this goal where like every week I work on like path designs for 12 hours. Like I would kind of time myself, maybe do six hours one day, six hours another day sort of thing. Kind of a way to like force it into my schedule and make sure that I'm prioritizing it as part of like my New Horizons experience amongst like all the streaming and stuff that I do so um, I hope that maybe I can start doing that like next week or something got a decent return on those fossils and I think I'm gonna spend it on this desk this looks kind of cute oh and hi Lenore welcome in hope you're having a nice evening Oh, <laughs> well, you shouldn't talk down on your island. We're all just uh, getting started here. Oh my god, this thing's expensive. 140 grand for this screen? I'm gonna check to see if it's in my catalog, because it kind of looks like something that might have been in our catalog party last weekend. Uh, but there's no real great way to kind of like sort things. That's one thing that kind of gets on my nerves. I think while I'm scrolling, I'm gonna keep an eye on f things that I might want to order for my room. I'm kind of sad at my progress of like the cute stuff because I'd really like to get more of like the blue cute stuff and um, I don't know I have like a lot of like this thing comes in too many different colors it comes in like red and pink and yellow and blue and purple. been busy with trying to get the shed done in the backyard. Oh, doing lots of outdoorsy yard work. Oh, okay, so I do have this cataloged, thank God. <laughs> even though I'm rich and even though I have 28 million bells in the bank, I don't really want to be spending it on an unnecessary things like that. So what else could I, I guess I could browse the carpets and floors and stuff. I'm not sure if I've done that yet today, or I think I did. Yeah, I think I got all this stuff. <laughs> Put in quotes because my dad's slowly making it a, a house at this point. That's funny. You bought a screen with a dragon on that was 140 grand too? Interesting. So that screen comes in like different variations, I guess. Yes, the hair is still wandering down here. I guess one thing that I could do, like as a little quick landscaping task, I still need to like decorate the upper cliffs here. 
I think the cliffs look a lot better when they're not barren and when you like put a few flowers and stuff so uh, I could probably do that today. I've got one of those gold screens but with a pretty tree on it you can catalog it sometime. Ooh, uh, What does the tree look like? Uh, I get like a strong sort of zen slash asian sort of vibe from those screens. Do you think it's like is it like a bonsai tree and is the dragon kind of like a Chinese dragon or something? Twelve mil? Oh uh, yeah, I have a 28 million in the bank but I don't have a lot to use it on right now because I do want to make new characters but I just haven't yet. Still need to make my new characters. I paid off a uh, Melanthe's house, which you all might have seen down on the beach there. All right, so we could get to doing some like room design possibly. As much as I love this little room, it's kind of gotta go eventually because essentially I'm gonna be dividing this room into like multiple parts. Like the kitchen is gonna be one room, the wood cutting room is gonna be another room. I'm probably gonna make like a gardening type room. So maybe this wall and floor can go over in like a separate room uh, that's dedicated to gardening. I'm gonna um, scroll around for my cabin wall because I think I can craft a cabin wall. Why does it cost so much to move your villagers? The, uh, I don't know, I guess they wanted uh, it to cost something. Um, it is kind of a funny process. Have you all done it a lot? I get a kick out of it every time I try to like move a villager and they like waltz out in their pajamas at like 2 a.m. because inevitably that's like when I end up doing it. It's like dragging them out of bed and uh, Tom Nook's just like, yeah, uh, Glyneth wants to move your house. Is that okay? <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta sort this by alphabetical. This This isn't working. Yeah, it should be up here, like, with the C's. Alright, so... Here it is, and it requires hardwood. So all that scrolling just to find out, like, what it costs, and then now I have to actually, like, go and get the, the stuff that it requires. I wish you could just like access the storage like as you're crafting and you don't have to like pull it out. I like that you have curves in a lot of places instead of just straight hard lines. Uh, thank you. That's part of why I want to like, um, it's because of the paths that I want to make. I want to make paths that can do diagonals. So I know it's not like showing off the diagonal path work a lot right now because I actually don't like how it looks with like the the cloudy um I keep calling it cloudy the the sort of pattern like that but um I plan to make some paths that'll like look really good with diagonals so I kind of want to show that off all right so the cabin wall can go in here and I wonder if I have something kind of similar to like a cabin floor I guess I'll just have to scroll through and see, or maybe that's something that would be more like in my storage. Oh, so that screen that you're talking about, it looks like a gnarly old pine tree. Oh, cool. And I guess I'm scrolling looking through carpets over in the, <laughs> in the materials section. So what do I got? Probably the common flooring is the closest. I wonder if there is like something like a cabin flooring though and I just don't have it yet. <laughs> do you all ever get anxiety with like displaying something horizontally or vertically? like? For me, sometimes I, I'm like, I don't know which one looks better. But yeah, I wonder which one the garden room should be in. Uh, should the garden room like be in the back? Like you kind of walk back here and it's like a pleasant little garden room. Of 
crafting from storage would be amazing. Yeah, I agree. Uh, especially since the inventory already gets cluttered enough as it is, it's hard to carry around like a million materials in your pockets. So, um... Ooh, I don't like this lighting in here. I must have done the cool lighting. How do you do, like, the lighting again? Okay, there we go. And I do want, like, a garden wagon, probably, in, like, the gardening room, but um, I'm not sure if I have the flowers to craft a garden wagon right now. think the back room works. Yeah, I wonder how I'm going to use like the unusual shaped rooms like upstairs and downstairs. Need to think of something special for that probably. And what was I going to craft? Oh yeah, I was going to see what the garden wagon costs. And BSW, just make sure to read the rules before um, chatting. Uh, some of the rules uh, listed in the panels are actually some of the things you're doing, like kind of asking for things or asking to play in chat. We typically, like as streamers, um, want to keep the chat related to like the stream and not be like side conversations about trading and stuff. It's uh, pretty common you'll see in a lot of like Animal Crossing streams. So, the garden wagon, I guess I'm over here in the seas. <laughs> I guess it's a good problem to have that my DIYs is like really um, a lot to scroll through now. I wish there was like a search function though, maybe I should like star some of the things I like. Iron. Okay, so finally found it. Let me let me go ahead and star this. And this requires white hyacinths, red cosmos, yellow roses, and wood. Yeah, I don't know if I have those in town, unfortunately. I have them in my side town, though. And um, you won't believe it, but I actually had multiple garden wagons, but then I gave one away as a gift. And then Winnie, of all people, asked me to craft a garden wagon, and since I c didn't have the materials for crafting, I had to just give her the one that I had, which kind of bummed me out. Oh, I don't even have all the fruits in town either. There's a lot of stuff that's just kind of inconvenient to craft when you don't have, like, a very flowery town. I moved a lot of my flowers to my side town. Yeah, the deer decoration. I know I want that in my house. So let me just like stock up with a lot of wood since a lot of the stuff I need uh, requires wood. And I'm going to craft some wooden stuff for Glyneth's house. I think this deer decoration would be like perfect above a fireplace or something. And let's craft a lot of like the log things. Yeah, like the log bench, log chair. And I like the log shelves as well. Oh no, I ran out of, uh, oh, do I need a log bench in order to craft this thing? I need two log benches? Wow, that one's kind of expensive. Uh, stuff like that kind of gets on my nerves. I don't really like the ones where it's like, in order to craft this wooden chair, you need to craft a wooden toy first. I got the timber door plate when I first started to play and it required a pink rose. Uh, roses aren't my native flower and it took so long. 
Yeah, I'm kind of like that with a few of these flower ones too. Like, I think I have like a purple hyacinth lamp that requires, of course, purple hyacinths. And so um, maybe I can start to work on crafting that now that I have like one in town and one sprouting. But yeah, unfortunately, like a lot of this stuff's gonna have to go because it's not gonna be like a multi-purpose room anymore. It's gonna be more like a general purpose room. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically there's gonna be a bedroom, there's gonna be a kitchen, there's gonna be like a living room, a garden room, a work room. So I'm gonna space out like all these different things. Oh, and this wooden simple bed. Uh, let me just show this off real quick. Uh, oh, did I fix it? But yeah, this wooden simple bed, like I made a pattern that said something on it, like uh, all these patterns I have here. And like, I forgot that I used one of these like for my bed. And so um, it said like Kima on it or something. But yeah, I might've fixed that already. I'm planning to make my upstairs large room a combo kitchen and dining room. Ooh. Yeah, I think that would be nice to like divide it up like that on those two sides. All right, so let's put some of this stuff in storage so I can access it in other sorts of rooms. And I've got a KK drive-in on right now. I should probably put something else on. Uh, let's just do Force Life to be classic. Oh, and good night, therapy. I'm sorry I missed your message. <laughs> I only saw it because some other people were saying bye, but hope you have a great night, therapy. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, it's kind of sad, like, getting rid of all this stuff. I've had a lot of this stuff for so long, just, like, sitting in my room, and it's, it almost kind of hurts to get rid of it, but maybe we can come up with something even better. Something that I'm after is, like, an appropriate rug for this sort of room, like, um, something similar to, like, the cabin rug from past games. Yeah, the log bench would definitely be good in here. And I guess I still need to have like a workbench in this room because otherwise I can't craft things. Where's my workbench? Did I already put it in my storage? Probably. I moved in Carlos because someone wanted him, but I don't know who to replace him with. Um, Carlos is a smug, right? I think there's lots of good smugs. Um, depends on if you like the fancy smugs like uh, Colton and Julian, or if you like one that's more casual like Carlos was. But yeah, I guess I still gotta keep uh, this workbench in here a little while longer because that's what I used to like craft with. And probably need a few more log benches. Oh and hi Camus, uh, welcome to stream, hope you're doing good. <laughs> you like the look of the cabin wall? Yeah, I like it too. It does make everything like super brown though. I should try to think of like what other sorts of colors I should work into it. It's super super brown in here. <laughs> Maybe a nice mixture of like brown and green or brown and red, brown and yellow. Probably uh, try to mix a different color into it. All right, where's my shelves? I think these shelves are really cute.
and a log round table. I think I already have one of these in my house, but I might need another one. And this one would be really good for like the kitchen. Oh, I need some more hardwood. Oh, asking my opinion, should I put flowers behind or in front of the stone fence? Yeah, well, in front would kind of, I, I agree with Mercy, I think it would kind of um, cover up the fence in like a pleasant way. And uh, something else that you can do with decorating is you can almost like let the wall and floor guide you. Like you can pick the wall and floor first and then just kind of pick things that match with it. So um, that's also something I could do from room to room. But yeah, let me pull up my little reference from my pictures where I like took a picture of the sort of room that I want to do over in Harvey's Island. I'll have to scroll quite a bit though. Um, if y'all want to see, like, uh, some shots from, like, our meteor shower party. We had, like, a little meteor shower party last night. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun time. Oh, and that was that picture of the bed that I was talking about where, like, uh, it had Kimma's name on it. But yeah, I'm going to scroll down quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I hope I got some videos of that um, of Flick shenanigans. We were wishing on stars and like Flick was wandering around like near us as we were wishing on stars. And he like kept like stalking us with his net and would just like randomly like swipe at us and stuff. Uh, it was really funny and awkward, but it feels like that always happens when you're trying to like meteor shower watch like it just wherever you stand like some villager will like wander over there and start like messing with you like prevent you from making wishes and that sort of thing uh, i always have trouble finding this i've tried to find it like a few times but oh, okay here it is so with this particular setup of my room it was kind of like a guide based around her like title as a woodcutter so she has like lots of wood being chopped over there but i was thinking with like how big this room is it could make sense to make it be more of like a general living room instead of walking right into the wood cutting like, maybe i could have a wood cutting room like to the side so um it is something to think about yeah, I'm gonna like screenshot this and load it up like in an editing program so that I have it on hand when I'm decorating. All right, so thanks for your patience there. And um, I do have a lot of stuff in my storage, so I mean, that'll be helpful for decorating. Uh, look at all this stuff I have in here. I got my fireplace, got my wood burning stove. I don't know, maybe I could experiment with like a setup that's more like a living room before I like move on to making this be a wood cutting room. Cause I feel like it might make more sense uh, with how big the room is. And uh, this tea table is nice and big. Why no slanted fences? Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I haven't made a lot of use of fences in my town yet. I wonder, like, I mean, a lot of them I'm not, like, super fond of. And uh, some of these are more, like, outdoor decorations. I do want the clacker cart somewhere in my house, though. Oh, 
yeah, I have like less stuff in here than I thought actually. <laughs> so let's put the fireplace up. So the fireplace does look nice and centered right there. I know that technically you could fit another item next to it if you have it like against the wall, but I don't know, maybe it looks kind of nice centered and that's something to think about. And I've noticed like a lot of these flowers are cluttering my pockets, so as annoying as that is, I might go and like plant or sell those just to like get them out of my hair. And the writing desk might look cute somewhere in the house. Ah, the antique clock. If I do go like the living room route, I mean, this would just be perfect, wouldn't it? Next to like the, the fireplace. Ah, that's perfect. Maybe, I mean, <laughs> Maybe I should swap them. Something about like something tall like that, like maybe works better like uh, against the wall instead of like floating in the middle of the room. All right, I gotta figure out how to get this mobile. Oh gosh. <laughs> I do like that mobile though, but maybe I want to go ahead and store it because that would be perfect over wherever my bed is. And that's probably going to go in the kitchen. Oh, that's where your fireplace is, Camus. That's funny. <laughs> Don't y'all feel like there's so many like classic ways to do Animal Crossing houses? Like, have y'all done the Animal Crossing house where you like you put the bed in the middle of the room, and then you put the lamp next to the bed, and then you put the side table on the other side of the bed, and then, I don't know, I feel like there's like a few ways that are kind of like uh, everyone does at some point in their life. But yeah, let me move these around, see which way I like them. Uh, so that's the way I had it, and then another way, of course, is to put the clock against the wall. Kind of hide it in the corner there. I have to admit, I feel like that's like a little bit more like visually appealing. Makes more sense. And I want to make a deer decoration. Did I make one yet? Did I totally space out on that? Were my pockets full? Yeah, I think I spaced out on that. I wanted to make a deer decoration. Decided to move in Portia. She's a nice regal dog and I thought she'd fit in because most of my villagers are white or blue. Yeah, I like Portia and she's kind of one of those ones that you don't hear talked a lot. So um, I'm always a supporter of like other sorts of villagers finding love. So I guess deer decoration would be up here somewhere. <laughs> Part of me wishes like I just didn't even have this bunny day stuff like cluttering up my catalog. <laughs> I have, like, no interest in it whatsoever. Yeah, I also wonder if you can customize the deer decoration. It kind of seems like something you might be able to. Do I have some customization kits? Ooh, I do. So it can be natural, ash, white, ivory, or black. Oh, okay, so that is... I was wondering if it could be like dark brown. Oh, and hi SQM, welcome in. Yeah, I thought maybe we could do some interior decorating on stream. Might not be the most exciting, but you gotta do stuff like this sometime. Gosh, how can I get this to line up right? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to whip out that editor. All 
All right, there we go. Nice and centered above the fireplace. Ooh, it almost like blends in with the wall. Something I'm a little curious about is I definitely want to use this floor and wall combination like in the wood cutting room though. So I wonder if I should mix it up and see what other sorts of walls and floors I have. Or maybe this one would be a good one for like the wood cutting room. I don't know. But yeah, this one's really cozy too. Like I could mix it up and do different sorts of like cozy wooden wallpapers from room to room. Like uh, some of these or even something like this. And uh, what floors do I have? Oh no, where did all my floors get to? I feel like this isn't very much. Oh. I could try one of these. <laughs> I keep saying like, oh, I'm gonna go get rid of my flowers and then I get sidetracked by stuff that I'm doing in here. All right, let's go get rid of these flowers. Oh, the cuckoo clock. Yeah, thank you, Mercy. I actually ordered that earlier today. I was scrolling through my catalog and I was like, yeah, I totally need that in green. I think the only cuckoo clock I'm missing is like yellow. <laughs> Your fireplace is there too. Oh, that's so funny, Jamskin. Should I move it just to be different? <laughs> Should I be a hipster about my fireplace placement? Oh, you're good, Dumpling. Lurking is fine. Hope you're doing good with your uh, terraforming prep. I remember I was so excited to unlock terraforming and it was like the happiest moment of my early New Horizons career and then um, uh, I still just haven't made a whole lot of progress with it to this day. Alright, so those are the common hyacinths, which I actually don't really need right now. I know some of y'all might even be like cringing seeing me sell the common hyacinths, like maybe you'd like them, but um, I have a lot of them over in my side town. Oh, Jay, thank you for the host. Oh, you're at two stars, Mercy, already? Yeah, I think you'll get to three really soon. It's probably just a matter of like moving in villagers. That's pretty much like all I needed. Uh, my town was nothing fancy. I just needed to move in villagers to get my rating boosted. All right, so let's head back to my house. And I might have to scroll through my catalog like a little bit to like see what sorts of things are out there in my catalog. Oh wow, getting some mail on stream here. Uh, this is from Lexi, one of my missing fossils. What? What? Ah, oh, you shouldn't do that. How do you all even know what my missing fossils are? Did I... I don't know, I have such trouble like remembering their names. You guys are so much smarter than me. Ah, uh, red Persian rug from Nicola. And a yellow Kalim style carpet from Nicola. Maybe that'll work well in the cabin house. Yeah, so I think y'all were sending me some like possible rugs for like uh, decorating Glenith's cabin. I get sidetracked so easily. Yeah, isn't that basically Animal Crossing in a nutshell? Like working on one thing and then like your pockets get full and then you have to go take care of them and then you get caught up in some other thing. Yeah, like technically I sold my red and yellow hyacinths, but I could have done more. I could have like planted these blue ones somewhere. So we might head back out in a little bit, but I wanted to see how these rugs look. Because I just got them in the mail from you guys. Ooh, that definitely does like add a pop of color to the room. Let's see what the yellow one looks like. So red Persian. No space around here to put this rug? Really? <laughs> mm, 
Where do I need to stand in order for this to take? Do I need to stand over here? Okay. Ah, I like that one a lot. I will say, I think I'm after the red one of these. Uh, I don't have the red one. Um, but the yellow one looks really nice and kind of makes it nice and warm. Maybe I could add some like yellow potted plants or yellow flowers to kind of go with the yellow vibes. But yeah, now that I've taken a look at the rugs, maybe I can go and see uh, donating this fossil because someone kindly sent a fossil in the mail to me. Crazy that the week is almost over already, but I hope things are well. How's Athalia? Oh, well, things are pretty uh, same old in Athalia. Not a lot new, but uh, I am working on some interior decorating today. It's been like rainy all day in my town, which um, I hope it'll help my hybrids in the morning. All my townies got their uh, umbrellas and their hats. You had two extra of those fossils? Do you like hoard all your fossils just for events like this when someone needs one? I don't get the star rating sometimes. I place mannequins all over my island so I could boom my rocks and that's how I got five stars. Really? Uh, mannequins? How do you uh, get those? I know the mannequins you got in New Leaf by like doing tasks for Gracie or getting to know like LaBelle and Sable and whatnot. Like, how do you get them in this game? All right, so this is super generous. Uh, this is the second time it's happened to me and it kind of awes me. Uh, there was this one time recently as well when like Teru took a look at my museum and then later in the mail I got a fossil. And then like now I'm getting a another fossil like that. I just can't believe y'all would help me out like this. Like, this is next level. Jeremiah. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved Jeremiah. Yeah, let's listen to a presentation on this since uh, I kindly got this in the mail. One of the first mammals and one of the few to live alongside the dinosaurs. In order to hide from much larger dinosaurs, it was less than four inches long and quite unobtrusive. Some either even theorize that these mammals were nocturnal until the dinosaurs went extinct. All right. He keeps saying mammal. I, I still don't really know what this is. Do I need to Google this? What What is this? They needed every advantage to live among those behemoths. They were... I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Behemoths? They were nocturnal before it was cool. <laughs> nocturnal before it was cool. Okay. Um... I still don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's go look at it. Let's see what this thing is. Have y'all ever heard of this? I've never heard of this fossil in my life. <laughs> that makes me mad. It's like, Frog, what do you mean there's no room? Yeah, uh, there's some funny little things like that in this game where it's, it feels like you should be able to do something, but the game won't let you. Oh, Theo, welcome in, and you're here to steal my title of slowest town builder. Yeah, I think, I think I've got that title on lock. Probably gonna be, like, year two and be like, oh, I think I'm starting to make more progress now. Oh, gosh, I don't even know where to start. I don't know which one it is. Um, oh, is it this thing? Ah, oh, I think it must be this thing. Ah, I knew it! I was like, does something go here? And then I saw something there. It says donated by Glyneth, but that almost kind of makes me sad because in some ways, like, it wasn't donated by me. Like, it should give credit to whoever sent it to me in the mail. But, uh, you have credit and spirit. You couldn't even walk anywhere, and Isabella's like, yes, oh my gosh, this town is beautiful. Yeah, well, I got up to four stars, and I'm kind of mad at myself. Like, now I'm only going to get back up to five stars, like, once I start, like, doing more decorating and stuff, which is going to happen naturally, but it might be kind of a slow process naturally, because I am the way I am. 
I wish that when I was at four stars, I just kept grinding. I didn't realize that there was like things like the golden watering can. Plus maybe I could have farmed for some Jacob's Ladders, which um, I was gifted this Jacob's Ladder, I think by Pika. And I put it up here right by the entrance to show it off. But yeah, I can't get any more Jacob's Ladders. Don't have a golden watering can because I wasn't smart. Didn't grind for five stars. Oh, I'm sorry you've had a bad day, Theo. I hope it gets better and I hope you can put it behind you and have a better day tomorrow or a better rest of the week. I think I'm gonna go plant these blue hyacinths somewhere because they're kind of cluttering up my pockets as well. Oh, Pika, you were using them for decoration. You should have totally kept them then. You shouldn't give me your like decoration fossils. I've been trying to keep an eye on like the one that looks like a deer. Uh, you know that like really giant fossil that kind of looks like a deer? I've been trying to keep an eye out for that one because that one would sure look really classy like in one part of town. I also really love the amber. The amber is one of my favorite like fossils just almost sentimentally because um, in one of the book series I read like amber like had some special significance so to me it's always just been the fossil that I like the most in these games. Plus it just looks really cool. Oh, the mannequins are a way to place a custom design. You don't need to buy it or anything. Oh, interesting. I don't know why I wasn't catching on to that. Okay, so where to start with this room? Um, I guess one thing I do want to do, which might be kind of painful and tedious, but I think it's necessary. I might want to scroll through my catalog and just kind of see what I have, what could go in here. Like the ant farm is cute, but it's probably a little too modern. Ooh, see this is good that I did this because I know that I want this plant in here probably in brown. Do I have that? I feel like I should have that like in my storage. So let me look over in my housewares. I feel like I don't have like a lot of stuff in here though. I thought I had more than I do, I guess. Where, where are all my plants at? Oh, here they are. I've got like almost every color lined up here. So I could definitely use this plant somewhere. There we go. I think it'll go good with like all the brown vibes everywhere. Kind of looks like a prehistoric rat. Yeah, I was trying to see what it looked like to me. It definitely looked like really small. It was hard to tell what it was like based off of the bones. <laughs> you were the fastest when it came to bulldozing everything. Yeah, true. Oh, you have a bunch of Jacob's Ladders, Beth? Well, feel free to hold on to them if you uh, would rather use them for yourself or uh, use them for trading. They're definitely probably pretty valuable, like, in the trading world. I wonder where I should put the rug. If, like, maybe it would look nice kind of framing, like, a little area around the fireplace or... Like a little like off center from the room, but still near the fireplace. Or like in the very middle of the room, just like kind of framing the whole thing. In some ways, I wish it was just a little smaller. Like I wish it was like maybe half this size. Yeah, I guess I should pick some of this stuff up because this isn't going to be like a wood cutting room, most likely. It's going to be more of like a living room. I wonder if the potted plant could go up here. Yep, 
Yeah, that looks kind of cute. Although maybe like a yellow plant would help bring out the yellows in the carpet more. The blue hyacinths in the garden look so pretty. Yeah, I'd love to start sprucing up that garden more since it's like one of the few spots in my town that I'm kind of proud of. I'd love to put both purple and blue hyacinths there and maybe also like lots of hydrangeas. Uh, like, do you all know off the top of your head when hydrangea season is? Because maybe I do want to like have that garden look presentable and like screenshotable by the time it's like uh, hydrangea season. I love amber too. My mom always wore amber earrings. Oh yeah, I um, the book series I'm talking about is uh, His Dark Materials, which um, even helped inspire like Citaloon in some ways, like. Uh, the character Lyra from Citaloon, she's kind of named after uh, the main character from His Dark Materials, and um, Amber was like this um, moment of significance in those books. So I think the log decorative shelves, like if this is going to be a living room, like they definitely need to go in here. In fact, like, I mean... I feel basic doing it, but it's probably got to go near, like, the... <laughs> it's got to go near the fireplace. But yeah, this is sort of where I'm ta what I'm talking about with, like, the basicness, where it's probably, like, a lot of people have done stuff similar to this, like, put a bookshelf near a fireplace and then put a... Um, put a chair in front of the fireplace, that sort of thing. It's very basic. But I can also just keep working on my room, like more and more to come and make uh, more and more changes as time goes on. I'd love for it to look a lot nicer um, just by the time I do a dream address update or whatever. I gave Raymond a monocle today and it just floats in front of his face. Oh, that's funny. I kind of want to give some of my villagers some clothes. Uh, maybe we can even do that today, just as like a little side thing. Uh, I ordered this dress for Tipper. Uh, maybe she'll like that. Oh, you need that plant in brown, Beth? I'll be sure to try to remember to send that to you. Still at four stars too, Jay. Not that worried though, happy to get five stars when my town's a little more complete. Interesting, your town is so gorgeous, Jay. I'm kind of surprised that you're not at five stars. Like, what do you have to do if, like, Azimuth is not at five stars? That's crazy. You should probably just do something like what Beth did. Like, you're probably so, so close to it. You should just, like, put some silly stuff in your town, like mannequins or... Uh, I think one of my friends actually did, like, fossils. Like, they literally just, like, put fossils all over the town and were able to get a perfect town status that way. Uh, probably another way is maybe uh, just tons of fences, like, spam fences all over your town. But I understand as well, like, taking it slow. That's kind of what I'm going to do is just, like, I think I would make perfect town status even more special if, like... I was happy with my town when I achieved it. All right, so just trying out a different floor in here. Um, I don't think it works with like the carpet, but I do wonder like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I was about to say, maybe if I take away the carpet. But yeah, let's just put down what I had before then. It was worth a shot. And uh, this wallpaper is kind of interesting, but I almost found it, find it claustrophobic, like there's no windows. And the cabin wall. And what other sorts of things? Could definitely have some barrels, some tables. Oh, and hi, Alex. Welcome to stream, and congratulations on that. I love his dark materials. One of my all-time faves. Yeah, same here. Um, 
I like to draw a lot of inspiration from fantasy books I like for my towns, basically. Like, in some ways, like, maybe the characters are directly taken from the books, but then I just give them new life myself. Like, the character of Lyra is nothing like the character of Lyra from the books. I just kind of took the name and then uh, made my own thing with it. Uh, so I definitely want, like, an entrance mat. Um, gotta have an entrance map at the door. I wonder what sort of entrance uh, mats I have like in my storage. I've had trouble with clothes. They sometimes wear the shirts I give them, but every time I give them hats and glasses, they wear them for a day and then throw them in their house. Ooh, they throw them in their house sometime, Jay? That, that makes me worried a little bit. That's kind of what I would want to try to avoid. I don't want to clutter up their homes with stuff. Uh, so the spinning wheel could go in here um, if it's kind of like a living room type thing. Or I could have a room dedicated to sewing because I also have a loom item. So I think I came in here mostly to look for rugs. Let me see what rugs I have. Oh yeah, I like this one. The iron entrance mat. I like it. And the yellow Persian rug, I can always try that. Oh, and hey, real life cloud, uh, cloudy core, you changed your username. Yeah, I think I've seen you um, called that also in um, Discord, though, so it kind of makes sense. I definitely recognize you, but oh, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing good. And yeah, I've kind of gotten used to calling you Cloudy, so I might still a little bit. I think it's a cute name. But uh, do you even prefer going by, like, Lane? I know that Lane is, like, your, your character name in um, Animal Crossing. Alright, so let's try to repos reposition this rug. I think I'm feeling this rug the most. But uh, the problem with the rug is it's a little too big to be like an area rug for like the this area right here. And I don't know how I feel about it just being a giant rug in the middle, but maybe we can make it work and just do that for now. Yeah, I like the coziness that the red Persian rug adds to uh, adds to the room. Ah, my pockets are so full. How did they get so full? And let's see what that, like, entrance rug looks like. I don't know. It looks... I, I think if I have the entrance rug, I think I gotta make the other one more like an area rug. Gosh, I kind of, like, hate interior design sometimes. <laughs> I much prefer, like, working on, like, the outside of town. I don't know. I'm I'm a little weird like that, I guess. Okay, so I think I kind of like that because it gives like a little space in between the doorway and where the rug starts. I think I might like that for now. been your uh, Discord name for a long time and made my Twitch account ages ago. Ah, oh, that's cool. At least you still kept the cloud, though, in both. Like, the cloud still remains your online, um, online symbol. So, I wonder if the umbrella stand would be really cute, like, kind of near the door. I don't like how it's iron, though. I wish they would give me, like, a wooden umbrella stand. Oh, and it must be the turn of the hour. Oh, and hi, Teru. Welcome to stream. We're having a cozy little decorating stream, or at least attempting to. Um, I usually like to put my boots on, like, the other side of this entrance mat. Yeah, that's kind of cute. 
I still got those recycled boots that I got from uh, Cloudy really early on. I needed um, another boot for this DIY, and it was actually real life Cloud and Chat that like gave it to me for uh, completing that DIY. Hmm, maybe I should have done this over in like Harvey's Island. Uh, I feel like I'm not really doing it as well as I'd like. Uh, Harvey's Island is just magical the way you can just play with stuff you don't even have on hand and, and things like that. Yeah, I want to have this wooden bucket somewhere. And the log dining table. I feel like that should go in the kitchen. Uh, maybe I'll head over into my ancient kitchen that I don't think I've wandered into this thing in weeks, guys. I don't even think I've been in this room in weeks. <laughs> like, this room is so ancient. Uh, it's from like cherry blossom season. But yeah, it's still kind of cute. But yeah, this is my old kitchen and I need to kind of update it to make it like look more wooden probably, but... I don't know, is that table the same one that I just crafted? Is that the same one? Yeah, so I crafted the same thing twice. <laughs> Lena's my actual name. Um, I don't really have a preference though. Some call me Cloud or Cloudy a lot. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, I do like to... I do like Cloudy. <laughs> You have a very organized approach to interiors, though. When I design a room, I throw all the pieces of furniture in at once and then begin to sort it out like a puzzle. Yeah, I did that on Harvey's Island a little bit, and I got kind of overwhelmed. So, like, now I'm trying to not get overwhelmed like that. I will say I think something I'm having trouble with with this particular room is I want it to be a mixture of, like... A room that's somewhat respectable but also rustic at the same time so I think this rug kind of dresses up the area a lot I think the deer decoration dresses up the area a lot but yeah I mean I really gotta get the right sort of feel the room is so big too I'm almost like having trouble with how bi how big the room is I wonder what this tea table looks like. Yeah, I could see that somewhere, maybe. And... The log stuff, like the log stool might be like a little too... A little too rustic for a room like this, you know? This is more of like a... Sit in a chair sort of room, not sit on a log. Yeah, I might have kind of exhausted my catalog to some extent. Like, I'm not sure if there's much more in my actual dressers that I can use. Ah, the wooden toolbox. That'll be great for my, like, wood chopping room. And this would be great for, like, a laundry room. And so this would be good for the potential, like, sewing room that I might do. Alright, so I'm gonna head to some of my other rooms, because I do remember dropping some stuff on the ground that I could use later. I feel your title so hard. Having things happen on my island has just come to a stop. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I'm glad that other people might be able to relate to my title. <laughs> but yeah, you can see that up here I started to like throw some things down that I might could use. So I could kind of come up here and like grab them. Ooh, I wonder if this would be a good thing for like the garden room. Yeah, I think if there's one music player that would go really good in the gardening room, it's the Lily record player. And unfortunately, pockets are getting too full again. I do have two nets. Let's 
so that doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, all this wood cluttering up my pockets, that'll definitely clear some space. And then like two seconds later, I'll want to craft something. Portia got glitched with Curlos's exterior. I might need to let her go now. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that, Cody. That's kind of like my worst nightmare. I'm so scared of that because I know that glitch you're talking about. It's happened to several of my friends and... Uh, it seems really common, but yeah, sometimes the villager house exterior, like, won't update, like, when there's a new villager, like, it'll still have the old one, and, uh, I'm really, like, afraid it's gonna happen to me one of these days. Um, I feel like it's gotta. But I'm really sorry about that, Cody. Let me know if you figure out the fix for that glitch, like, maybe you can move Portia in and out with Amiibo. Yeah, I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, let's see what sorts of, like, flowery things we can put in here. It would definitely look a lot better with, like, the garden wagon. Yeah, this room could be my little backyard. I have a room in my house almost done, but I need the white wet fireplace and a black couch and a different rug. Ooh, so getting close there. Uh, we had a catalog party last weekend, and I think I have the fireplace in, like, literally every color now. And before, I think I only had it in, like, one or two colors. Alright, I wonder where the barrel should go. I feel like the barrel... <laughs> should it just go in the kitchen, or should I have barrels in here as well? Yeah, I think it's time for a catalog flip through. I need to see what else I got. Glyneth has been polishing up her main room. Yeah, I'd love for it to have, I don't know, like I want it to have a, a different sort of feel and then maybe you wander into the wood cutting room. But maybe some of this antique stuff is what I need. Should I just start like snatching up this antique stuff and then just very quickly get to my five limit? <laughs> like I'll probably like order this, order this, and then order like one other thing and then I'll be at my catalog limit. <laughs> Antique chair. Ooh, that would be good for, like, a kitchen. Antique vanity. Antique table. I'm currently in the middle of nowhere and my internet isn't good enough to do multiplayer. Oh, uh, yeah. Good enough to watch a Twitch stream, but not good enough for that uh, Switch multiplayer. I feel ya. <laughs> Ooh, the birdcage. That would be perfect in here. Where's my birdcage at? Yeah, note to self. Get the book, get the birdcage wherever that's hiding in my house. And the book stands. That would be nice. Maybe I should go ahead and order those. Now, let's try to order like one more thing and it's probably not going to let me. Oh, it did let me. Oh, I just wasted something. I thought I was at my limit. Um, I'm only in the seas. Jeez. Coming along great, so cozy and warm. Love all the red tones with how cool and a green Glynis look is. Oh, thanks, Cloudy. I'm glad you like it. That means a lot, because I uh, really think a lot of your decorating, so uh, it really makes me happy that you like how it's coming along. But I hope you have a nice time playing Minecraft with your friend. That sounds really cozy. Maybe an area for reading books or listening to music. Ah, oh, yeah. Like a little book area near the fire. Even though a living room kind of seemed like something that would like fill this space up a lot more, I guess I need to find the right sort of furniture to fill the space. Maybe some music instruments or something. 
Ah, uh, this one would be really good for the garden room. Do I already have that in my pockets, though? And the hanging terrarium, that one might be cute. Ah, I like those, but they need to be more, like, rustic. They're a little too fancy. I think the glitch happened because I went uh, forward to after she would have moved in, so it's like her house never left. So you think it's because you time traveled? Oh, did we get a raid? Did I miss the raid? Megan, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you all had such a lovely stream. Uh, what did you all get up to? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we're just doing some uh, interior decorating right now, so scrolling through my catalog looking for things that are fitting. Yeah, if anyone in my chat doesn't know uh, Megan Crossing, you should definitely check her out and give her a follow. She's a really lovely uh, Animal Crossing streamer, super fun, and uh, always an enjoyable time over there. Thanks so much for bringing your community over. Um, hope you all had a lovely stream. But yeah, my name's Amy and I'm primarily an Animal Crossing streamer myself as well. Also in the Animal Crossing Twitch community. And um, I've been streaming since last October and I've really enjoyed it. Thanks so much. <laughs> Your voice is relaxing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I get that a lot. Oh, your Twitch name is cute. Thank you. I guess we're kind of paying homage to it right now, aren't we, with a forest life plan in this room? But yeah, this is my character, Glyneth, and she's like a woodcutter, which I think is really cute in this game with like all the woodcutting that you do. So uh, she's gonna like have one room like be like a woodcutting room and Right now I'm trying to work on like the um, living room area, like kind of a nice room to just walk into. But I quickly reached my catalog limit, so I might just have to work on like crafting stuff instead. I'm sure you know that struggle with the, the crafting um, or the catalog limit. I love this butter churn. I remember when I first got it, I didn't realize this was like a craftable. I thought it was like a catalog item. I love that thing. And all this good old bunny day furniture. <laughs> I like the beehive. I feel like that's like an outdoor item though. Of course you probably wouldn't want a beehive in your house. <laughs> the wood wall. Yeah I love the cabin wall and it goes with like her wood cutting theme. Oh, and hi, Stacy. Welcome in. Yeah, we just got a raid from the lovely Megan. Oh, and good night, Titch. Hope you have a good evening. But yeah, I think a laundry room would be really nice. Maybe I can go ahead and craft this while I have the materials for a nice laundry room. I gotta do the math on, like, what I have, actually. Oh, Ginger, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Stacy. Uh, Stacy, I hope you enjoyed those Animal Crossing emotes for another month, thanks to Ginger. And Ginger, thank you so much for that generosity. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I need the firewood, too. Yeah, it's just what I said. I put up all my wood earlier because my pockets were full, and now I'm trying to craft stuff and I don't have room... Or I don't have the wood in my pockets. But yeah, I do have like one of the cuckoo clocks like hanging out in my pockets. I wonder which color it is. Oh, it's the blue one. Ah, uh, that deer decoration, it's bothering me a little bit because I feel like it's just, it blends in with the wall too much. <laughs> like, it's the exact same color as the wall. It would be nice if it like contrasted like a little bit. So I wonder if the cuckoo clock would go better over the, the fireplace than that deer decoration. Uh, the chessboard, maybe you can play some chess in here. Uh, I would probably need to go on a table though. <laughs> Do y'all know those uh, chessboards that are actually like an actual table? Like the table has like a chessboard like drawn onto the table. Uh, we've uh, sold some of those at my job before. 
Um, but yeah, I guess this is not one of those. <laughs> oh, you love the alert with the throwback to neighbor Totoro. Yeah, I had that idea and um, commissioned that for someone to make for the channel. I really like how it came out too. Uh, the artist did a really good job on it. And I have some music that goes along with it that I hear on my end, but I'm actually like so dumb I don't really know how to make the music like play on stream. <laughs> I don't know if I just have to like mess with my audio settings in that way, but um, yeah, maybe one of these days it can play the music. <laughs> maybe put the deer decoration in the kitchen if you made one. Yeah, I uh, can show you all the kitchen that's kind of in progress, but I guess I liked the idea of the deer decoration above the fireplace because it just kind of seems like this grand decoration that would go above like a fireplace, but um, in actuality, like it kind of blends in with the wallpaper too much. Oh, and I was trying to find something in my pockets. Oh, the firewood, I think that's what I was trying to find. <laughs> I don't know if it really works in there though, probably not. So I think if I continue to work on this room, I might have to like do it in Harvey's Island because I've reached my catalog limit. There's only so much I can do like without the stuff from the catalog and all that good stuff. So maybe I have to finish another day. But so many of my rooms are just total under construction because I expanded before I could uh, decorate them all. Even if it's a work in progress, I'd love to hear your ideas. Oh, thank you, Walker. Yeah, I can show you um, kind of the process that I'm doing. Um, I'm starting at the entrance and working my way outwards, which might sound kind of silly, like in the sense of you should just be working on your town like everywhere at once. But I actually saw someone else like on Twitter doing the exact same thing as me. And it like really validated me. Like I feel like less alone by the fact that um, literally what I'm doing is everything else in town is bulldozed, so, like, I feel kind of dumb sometimes streaming the fact that, like, all my town is just, like, this bulldozed mess, but, um, starting at the entrance and, like, working my way outwards, so I just haven't gotten to the other stuff yet. But my plan for the entrance is, like, a beachside elegant city where it's gonna be like lots of white flowers. I'd like to make my own custom path design. Like this terracotta path is just like a placeholder for one that I'm gonna eventually make myself. And um, the museum is gonna be up here because it goes with like the white theme. And I'm gonna have villager house exteriors that are white up here. Um, and I have these inclines. So it's a great way to kind of tie the town hall into like this little beachside city that I'm doing, which is like all terraformed around the town hall. Uh, but yeah, I think I made a great use of like working with the town hall placement that I got because it's, you notice it's not lined up with the airport and it's also really close to the airport. But the fact that I made like a diagonal path lead up to it, I think it works really well. I'm really happy with it. Oh, look at Sterling and his, <laughs> Sterling looks so silly in his hat, man. <laughs> oh, I love this. I'm gonna enjoy having Sterling in town. He's gonna look so goofy in this hat every time it rains. Ah, oh, she's talk he's talking about Dark and I. Dark and I in the community. They were staring up at the sky, wishing on all the shooting stars. Yeah, talking about our shooting star party last night. <laughs> what do you think they were wishing for? I bet it was either ripped abs or beastly biceps. Elvis is thinking. Yeah, that's the second time Elvis has been thinking today. I mean, earlier he um, was thinking and he just like gave me a plant. Like, what's he thinking about now? <laughs> what's my move? I was up in my attic the other day and thought of you when I found my coveralls with arm covers. <laughs> I have no need for such things, so got extra room at your place? I mean, sure. Do what you like with it. 
So what is this? Coveralls? Oh, <laughs> I look like I'm about ready to like work on a railroad or something. Work on a railroad in, in fashion. This is gonna be so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Uh, I really look forward to it. Unfortunately, like, this is like one of the harder parts, probably. Like, just the fact that some of what I'm trying to debate is the fact that I'm already using two inclines right here. So, part of me likes the idea of making it extra fancy and then putting something else up on an incline. But then, like, that would be yet another incline slot. And then, what if I want to, like, have an incline go down from here? And then, before you know it, I'm, like, using all my inclines on this area. So, I don't know, it, it does have, like, me puzzled about it, so I'm trying to think of maybe I should just have the villager houses be, like, on this land and not put them up on another incline. I'm also trying to figure out what to do with, like, the museum and where it's gonna go. But, yeah, that's my current puzzle. Thank you, Erica. I'm glad you like it so far, and it's nice to come across people with like similar maps and stuff, like similar starting maps, because um, I know that you all probably noticed, but like at the beginning of the game when you're like picking your map, a lot of us got like the same sort of maps. Like they're they're not like an limitless amount of maps. They're seemingly like a finite amount. <laughs> Sterling, we're wishing for those sacred large star fragments. Yeah, I finally got some now. You're the design queen. Can't wait to see what you do. I'm developing my entrance and slowly working outwards toward the plaza and other areas I have in mind as well. Ah, oh, that's great. That does make me feel like less alone, like uh, someone else that's also kind of starting um, at the entrance and working your way out. But so many of the islands that I visit like are practically like done or like all over there's stuff to admire so it does make me feel a little funny about mine. Oh I got a blossoming kimono in the mail. Thank you so much for that. Oh and enjoy your lurk uh, Pika. And hi Pikmin. How are you today? Moving all my buildings and demolishing everything to revamp my island. Oh, is that like a little painful and sad to like uh, demolish all the work that you've already done or um, are you just mostly excited about it? Oh, you've seen Sterling twice but passed up on him. Yeah, he works really well with the theme that I plan on having. Like, um, I plan on having kind of an olden town sort of theme, so Sterling works really well, like with his armor. I'm also going to move in Nox, which, uh, speaking of which, that was kind of like on my to-do list for today and I kind of forgot, like, in the midst of my um, house decorating goals, but I was going to move in Nox. But he's also another one of those, like, armor villagers. But yeah, I wonder if, like, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how this could work. Because if you put it, like, too close to the chair, like, it blocks you from even getting to the chair. So I probably need something like a side table, not like something like this. I need a side table. So, yeah, I might just have to wait on this until I can order some more things. And I wonder where the tea table could go. Maybe have like a little corner somewhere where you can like do some sitting and reading or um, maybe that's where the chess table could go. Like you play chess on this little tea table. Oh no, why can't you put it in the middle of the table? Can you put it like smack dab in the middle? Does it not let you do that? I guess not. <laughs> do you have a set image of the villagers you want to have? I wish we could have 12. Yeah, I do actually have like a list. Um, and I've got most of them in town. I only need Nox and a few others. Um, I think I'm 
the, the villagers who are permanent in my town, I can show you. I have Chevra, and she's permanent. And Plucky's permanent. Sterling's permanent. Tipper's permanent. Winnie's permanent. Melba, she's my fave. You'll see her like in her uh, Melba wave emote. She's my, she's my longtime favorite. She's permanent. And so if any of you like want Pudge or want Nan or Elvis or Colton, feel free to hit me up. Those are villagers that'll be on their way out pretty soon. In particular, Elvis, because Elvis is going to be swapped out for Nox. My theme is a witchy enchanted forest with a semi-developed neighborhood centered around resident services. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I kind of like the idea of like having you know, resident services being the center of the neighborhood and then having like the rest of the town be the enchanted forest. Um, my town, I know I haven't like gone into what I want in other areas. I mostly just walk through that beachside city that I was showing you all, but the other areas are gonna be like, uh, I wanna make like a dragon canyon with some of those like Godzilla statues. <laughs> and uh, I might make some custom patterns for the dragon canyon as well. And I kind of want to have like a peasant area, which is where Glyneth is going to live. You know, she's kind of the peasant character. And I might also make like a kind of a princess character as well. Just kind of like play with a lot of different like fantasy themes around town. But yeah, let's invite Nox. Oh, you're picking your villagers based off of looks. Uh, if I had to say how I'm picking out my villagers, it's probably mostly based off of their house exterior, but also just someone like Nox works super well, even like house exterior aside. Oh, you can put the chess piece in the middle with a down arrow method? Oh, with the room designer? Interesting. Why didn't I think of that? I was like, I've seen people do this before. How do you do it? <laughs> That's so funny. That's why it's so beneficial to like stream this is that you can get tips like that. <laughs> Would you island hop for a villager if you had room one day? Um, no, I have like all the amiibo cards, so I just scan them in via amiibo. I know that that's a little um, easy of me, but yeah, I never have to like go island hopping for villagers. Unless I wanted like Raymond or Judy or one of them. But yeah, here's Knox with his lollipop. I always get a kick out of the things they carry around, like a donut or a lollipop or a sandwich. I used to camp a lot when I was just a kiddo. Ah, oh, so he wants a tiki torch. I think that's definitely a dupe. <laughs> I've already got that one. I'm surprised Colton isn't staying. Seems he would fit your island theme. Yeah, I'm gonna swap him out for Julian. Um, cause Julian kinda has a more fitting house. Uh, that was kind of a decision I made really recently. Cause originally Ju Colton was gonna be like a long-term neighbor, but I decided to swap him out for, for Julian. Oh, thanks, Erica. Yeah, I look forward to it as well. I'm eager to get working on it more, like, especially with pattern work and whatnot. So, um, the Tiki Torch probably requires wood, which is kind of a pain because I keep putting stuff like that away, like in my dresser, because it clutters up my pockets, but then I end up needing it, like, two seconds later. Do you all, like, always carry some of that stuff on you? Like, do you walk around with, like, some stone and some wood just because it comes in handy? Or do you also think it clutters up your pockets? But yeah, the Tiki Torch requires wood and tree branches. I have all the Mevo cards, all of them. Ah, cool! Uh, another one with a complete amiibo card collection, yeah. I actually bought mine as like a complete collection on eBay, so I didn't really like hunt them down one by one, like I really took the easy route. But I think it was worth it. I 
I wish I started collecting my amiibo cards before they got expensive. Yeah, it's a shame they are so expensive. I keep side-eyeing Nintendo for just not, like, getting on that, you know? Like, they really need to, like, re-release them and make some money off of this New Horizons hype. There's so many who would love to, like, buy the amiibo cards now that, like, New Horizons is such a big thing. They were last released when, like, New Leaf was the newest main series of Animal Crossing game, and... Um, they need to be re-released, but I think they will. They probably will be pretty soon. I think I've heard some rumors that they might. So, all right, there's my workbench and let's go craft this tiki torch for, um, for Nox. I kind of like what they did with like crafting things for the campers because I think otherwise it would be too easy. I like that they made it like a little bit hard. Oh, got the wrong type of wood. What music is that playing? Oh, this one's uh, Forest Life, actually. <laughs> the channel name, basically. Oh, and welcome back, Pika. So now we can craft the Tiki Torch. I'm only missing 65. Most of them are ones I don't mind having. But uh, ones like Rattle and Meringue. Oh, okay. Yeah, you definitely don't need all of them. <laughs> I know people that just like want to get their dreamies or get their favorites. Uh, you don't you don't need a full collection. <laughs> yeah, like Mercy is an example. Um, Mercy's been uh, posting over in Discord like the the new amiibo card she's been getting and stuff. She's just picking like out picking out her dreamies. Oh, Jay, thank you so much for hanging out today and I hope you have a good evening and yeah, I hope the house comes along well. I might just, I think I need to keep working on it like a little bit every day, like have it be almost like a daily task because the catalog limit makes it so you can't really like complete a house in a day. So I just need to like keep like every day, I need to work on it like a little bit, you know? Oh, a school jacket. <laughs> I have like 54 amiibo cards. Well, that's a decent collection. Your kindness might just backfire and make me want to come back here. Yeah, well, that is the idea. <laughs> that was me fishing for another invite in case you missed it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and hi, random penguin. Welcome in. How's your day going? I've got quite a few, but not all. Got quite a few the RV ones and the Sanrio ones. Yeah, I remember getting the Sanrio ones. Like, I shipped them from the UK for, like, $6. Like, I bought them from the store that they were actually from, so they weren't, like, overpriced or anything. Ooh, if the rain ever stops, we might see a rainbow. Is that a hint? Could I see a rainbow? Is it ever going to stop? It's been raining like all day. Uh, I wonder if this person's in chat, Lexi. They make real tasty creamed corn and beet juice smoothies. That is kind of a fun part of like streaming is that your villagers will often like talk about the people in your community, the people you've wi-fi'd with. But yeah, we've done our duties with Nox for the day. I wonder if I could just um, save a lot of this decorating for another time since I don't know if I can do it without a catalog. I'll see you later, Cody. Have one third of the cards but kept getting a lot of repeats so I stopped collecting them. Yeah, that really got on my nerves too. It was really painful, like all the duplicates and stuff. I guess the idea is you're supposed to like trade your duplicates for ones that you need but um, for a while there, it was hard to, like, find people that would trade because, like, Animal Crossing was so dead the last few years, but, I mean, maybe now you could find people that would trade with you. Oh, that's you? Uh, sorry, uh, I, I know you, like, as Pika, so Lexi, um, I didn't recognize your character name, I guess. 
But thank you so much for that. And so that's how you get the chess board like in the center of the of the table. And maybe you could do something cozy like with some chairs and some barrels around the around the section that has like the chess board and the table. Yeah, I hope it'll come out nice eventually. I'm uh, not really happy with it so far, but hopefully eventually. And uh, let's play Comrade KK on here. You don't have any songs you can register? Really? Oh, okay. I must already have Comrade KK. Maybe my side character could use it though, like my uh, side character could add it to hers. <laughs> I don't like creamed corn, which makes it interesting they would bring it up. Yeah, I'm not even familiar with that. What is creamed corn? Just like corn with cream on it? Uh, something that gets on my nerves, which is going to be like a puzzle that I'll essentially have to solve. It's just like the structure of my town, like I do want this to the way it is like I want there to be terraforming on either side of the town hall but I wonder if like I gotta make some sort of incline going down from each one just to make it more convenient so that's like kind of another piece of the puzzle in a way like I gotta figure out where the inclines like going down from this are gonna be or maybe like it could kind of like wrap behind the town hall and like the incline could be going down from the town hall itself up here I just gotta think how I'm gonna do it. But yeah, I'm gonna go drop a comrade KK for my side character who's on the beach over here for now. And what other sorts of stuff? Got lots of rugs, lots of furniture in my pockets, of course. Oh, hi Trial Orc. Hope you're having a good day. Cream corn is amazing. Oh, I've never I've never had it, I guess. I'm not a big corn person. I don't really I don't really go out of my way to like buy corn on the cob or whatever. <laughs> you live in the south and don't know what cream corn is? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, your mom makes it and it's so good, Mercy. Well, y'all are making me want to try it. Uh, these book stands could probably go ahead and go up here on the fireplace for now. And uh, the clothesline could maybe go in whatever, whatever sort of room is going to be, like the laundry room. I don't know, that idea really appeals to me. Like a little peasant like living in her house with like a, a section to sew clothes, wash your clothes. I think that would be so perfect. Maybe not in this room though, but somewhere I need to have like a laundry room. And the log round table, that can go in the room where she's going to be like a woodcutter. Why is that leaf yellow? Um, I think that's when you add like a custom design to um, like, you can customize some of this stuff with uh, custom designs. Cream corn rocks. My grandma makes it so good. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've never had it. Wow, this is so funny. Over here, I started to do the same sort of room. <laughs> like, over here, it's sort of what I'm doing over in the other room. But, like, this one's just, like, more unfinished and more, like, small. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it's like I was doing the same sort of thing in both. Um, so let me pick some of this stuff up. Except it'll make my pockets full. And I think this room is going to be like my wood cutting room, like officially. Like there's going to be just the right sort of furniture to be chopping some wood. All right, I was hoping I still had some inventory space. I guess not.
creamed corn is a sweeter than normal corn. It's basically what you said, corn with cream, uh, cream used in casseroles a lot. Oh, interesting. Still kind of a random reference for like a villager to be name dropping. <laughs> so um, let's see how much my storage can take. I haven't gotten to the limit yet in a while. <laughs> let's see what I can cram in here. Have you all reached like your storage limit for your fully expanded house yet? Does it reach an end eventually? <laughs> cornbread, that's what we use it for. Yeah, well, I've had cornbread. I'm not really a big fan of that either. <laughs> oh, you asking that, Pikmin, kind of reminds me that I'm on the lookout, like, if anyone has the crown and they're ables. Like, I have 28 million. I think I can spare a million for a crown at this point. Uh, so feel free to hit me up if you ever get, like, the crown and your able sisters. I'll go over, a visit, snatch that up, water your flowers. <laughs> yeah, we're just putting stuff away for now because otherwise I won't be able to get anything else done the rest of the day because my pockets will just be too full. Uh, the bird cage, though, uh, that could probably go in that other room. I was kind of eyeing that the whole time. The bird cage could go in there. Uh, they should have some sort of way you can, like, mass put stuff in storage instead of selecting each one. It's so painful. And uh, these two I'm going to sell. I don't need these. And I wonder if for the wood cutting room I could have this wall, except I just don't really like it too much. It's like too busy, too contrasty, but I mean, it does fit the theme. You have to admit, like a wood chopping room, like this totally fits the theme, but it's just, I don't really like how it looks that much, so I might not use it. Might just make like another cabin wall for that room. But yeah, the firewood's gonna go in here. And finally kind of working through my working through my items. Finally got a full inventory again. I have a channel point suggestion. You could do KK Slider song requests. Ooh, thank you, Beth. I'll make a mental note. I have struggled at times with what to do with those channel points cuz like I'm a little like non-invested at times. Like I'm too busy with other stuff to focus on that. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, I guess the birdcage could go in here somewhere. Just a question of where. Uh, I also wonder if maybe, like, something... I don't know, maybe I could have a couch here instead of the little crappy armchair. Like, have a couch. Maybe it would kind of, like, fill up the area a little bit. Uh, something else a lot of people do is they'll put like a table in front of the couch so it'll be like fireplace, table, couch. Then you could even put something like a plant over there or something like that. Yeah, just thinking. It would also fill up like the area rug a bit more. Oh no! <laughs> that's not what I thought it was. I thought it was that little like log chair that's like uh, a round little piece of log. So now I got invested and now I kind of want to see it through and like put the table there. So let's get the log bench and let's get a plant of some sort. I like this yucca plant. But yeah, I feel like this uh, room is a little predictable in a way. Like, I've probably seen a lot of rooms, like, really similar to it. But I guess, you know, it's not worse for having been done before. And then you could probably put something like a book, like, on the table there. 
Ah, oh, Roni, thank you for the host. The funny thing is, this isn't and this isn't really a table. It's supposed to be a bench, but it kind of looks like a table to me. So sometimes I use it like that. Could even probably put like another chair over here to fill up the space a bit more. Yeah, it at least like fills up the rug more. I'm not sure if I really like it though. Wine cellar, ooh, trial org. I think I'm gonna do that for a different house. I'm gonna have like a fantasy tavern for one of my characters. Like one of my characters is gonna have their own tavern and um, one room is of course gonna be like the common room of the tavern and then there's probably gonna be some like in type rooms um so i think i'm gonna make a wine cellar in a different character house but yeah glyneth instead of like a wine cellar she's gonna have more of a traditional like peasant house i guess oh alina you knew of my twitch channel without knowing about like some of the stuff that i did like in citaloon and my moon paths and stuff that's so funny. That's really that's really cute though. I'm glad you found out, Alina. Um I think maybe now something I'm interested in doing is gathering like some flowers and doing some like gardening up on the cliffs cuz uh I said that earlier and I kind of really like the idea of uh decorating the cliffs with some flowers. If I can find them though. I moved a lot of my flowers to like my side town, so I might not really have them. If your rooms weren't complete, I'd totally add a wine cellar. My family makes wine, so it'd be fitting. Yeah, that would be a really cute one. Uh, plus a new leaf. Uh, something you could do was there was an item called a keg, and there was an item called a barrel, and it was kind of like some were like sideways and some were straight up. And you could probably like really make use of like mixing the kegs and the barrels to make it look nice and random. Yeah, pardon the items. This is leftover from like our catalog party last last weekend. <laughs> You're giving away millions. Please spare some coin. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you're a millionaire too, aren't you, Wafer? I remember uh, one of my first days like streaming New Horizons. I was working on like getting a hundred k bells and. Wafer was over there telling me about how he was like on a second million from like Tarantula Island or something. <laughs> but yeah, I finally caught up with the stock market. Ah, so I went walking around for like white flowers and I couldn't find any. They must be over like in my side town for the most part. Uh, I do think I have some like white lilies on the beach. Maybe I can grab those. I'm so sad the fully expanded house still has such small side rooms. Yeah, sometimes the smaller rooms are like easier to decorate though. I'm kind of struggling with like filling up the space of that big room. I think partly because uh, I didn't really have the strongest vision for what to do for that main room. I'm kind of just trying things out right now, but um, yeah, the smaller rooms can sometimes be simpler to decorate. Yeah, here's some white lilies over here stranded on the beach. <laughs> they, they actually can't grow like on the beach. Like I think these ones are permanently like stunted right now. I'll go ahead and pluck them up. Oh, you have the shop and you have the crown in your shop, Jaderade? Ah, oh, cool. Well, let me know if you want to like open up via Dodo or something. That might even be kind of funny to do that on stream if you want me to come and buy your crown. Uh, sorry, I might be seeing this kind of late. I was kind of like in the zone when I was decorating and I wasn't really like reading chat while I was moving furniture around in my house. There's a restaurant in the Mall of America that makes the best cornbread I've ever had. Yeah, uh, I'm not a big, I'm not a big cornbread fan. I'm also just in general, like maybe for someone who lives in the South, I just don't like South food enough, but not like a big fan of like the traditional like biscuits and southern stuff, like the sort of thing you would get at like Cracker Barrel or whatever. It's just not really my thing. 
There's something just too busy about the stacked w wood wall. It's almost stressful to look at all that wood. Yeah, it's a little just too, too visually stimulating. It's, it's a little much. What happened to Flex? Oh, you remember the uh, Flex Points Redemption random penguin? That makes me happy. I was actually thinking about bringing that back. Part of the reason why I got rid of it. So I was on vacation for a while and kind of like on leave from work because of what's going on and because of like New Horizons and my vacation that I took. So I uh, got rid of that points redemption for a little bit, but I might bring it back just because I don't uh, definitely don't have like a lot of points options. You can customize the log chair and it adds a pillow and cushion. Yeah, maybe I can um, use some of... I've been getting these uh, custom designs from the Able Sisters or from Sable, so maybe I could try some of those with like the log cushions. But yeah, those are some cozy flowers to decorate the cliffs for now. Oh, you find it personally harder to design the smaller rooms? Uh, to me it's pretty simple because it's like a lot of what room designing is is like kind of adding visual interest like all across the room and putting items in just the right spots to just make it look right and to me that's like simpler if you have a smaller room to work with. Uh, that's just how I feel though. And uh, I'll put some flowers up here although I could also just put bushes like I should probably just plant some bushes up here sometime. Or put like another garden lantern up here. Oh, it's so fun to like hop around. Oh, awesome, Jaderade. I appreciate that. <laughs> what are the odds? I was just like musing. Oh, I would totally buy a crown today if I could. Let me go ahead and withdraw a million in case this happens. Since my island's called Flavor Town, the top level of my house is a diner. Aw, oh, cute. I'm glad it's coming along well thanks to the catalog party we did. So let me sh flex my bank account there <laughs> and withdraw a million. I need to start creating some side characters so I can start uh, using more of my money. And uh, Pikmin, just be careful with the repeat messages, and in general I encourage trading to only go on in the Discord. In fact, I think, you know, there might be people that maybe don't have the rain hats in their ables, but they have them in their catalog. But yeah, the Discord is good for trading like that. In love with small rooms, they're perfect. I was having such an issue with filling the fully expanded rooms, and New Leaf had to section off all the rooms in order to fill them. Yeah, you can try to like section off rooms with bookcases. In fact, that gives me an idea. Like, I could put bookcases in that main room there and kind of like divide up the space a little bit. Uh, thank you for the idea there. Yeah, a DM and Discord is good. Either that or a Twitch whisper. Uh, whichever way you want to like send over that Dodo code privately. I'll uh, keep an eye out on my Twitch in case you just want to do like the Twitch DM. But yeah, Discord is good too. I happened to test out a side room layout on Harv's Island and really liked it, which is why I was kind of bummed when I realized it wouldn't fit in my real house. Oh yeah, that's so funny. I did the same thing, Teru. Like I, what I ended up doing on Harvey's Island was I like blocked up part of the room with like bookcases so that I could kind of simulate the side rooms over on Harvey's Island. I recommend doing that if you're wanting to use Harvey's Island to like make a side room. Okay, sure. Oh, I'm excited. I'll go ahead and head over to the airport about to buy a crown. Why can't we gift a villager more than one thing a day? Oh, that's so wholesome of you, Walker, to make such use out of that feature. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't really know what to give them, and so therefore I don't make a, a lot of use of that, like, give them something uh, option. 
But I did order um, Tipper, like a, a dress with pearls. Do you all know that item in the catalog? That's basically like a fancy black formal dress. And it has like some pearls at the top. Um, I ordered that for Tipper. I wonder if she'd like it. Ah, oh, Wasted Kitty. Thank you for the host. Uh, how are you today? So I'll get started with this like menu selection. And I'll probably block out the screen for a second when I'm like entering the dodo code just for that privacy since I'm streaming this. <laughs> a crown because you're a queen. Oh, thanks, Ginger. Uh, although my character is a peasant. I want to create this side character though that's like more princessy and I think it's a lot of fun like if you're gonna bother to make a side character like make it a totally different aesthetic so you can like design the rooms totally different and have fun with like all the fancier items. Have fun with like a different house exterior. Alright so now we're at the point where I'm gonna enter the dodo code so um oh, okay so this is more like um Adding a friend. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to be Dodo code. So still though, maybe if I'm adding a friend on stream, I should do it on the BRB so that I'm not, you know, broadcasting the friend code or anything like that. Oh, the whisper, um, you can click on my name to send a whisper, but it's okay, I found it on Discord. Yeah, I'm gonna add them as a friend real quick, although... Yeah, I should probably put it on BRB while I do this, so I'll uh, be right back while I'm adding Jaderade so I can go buy a crown. So actually, uh, Discord like isn't loading on my phone, so um, it's just like giving me the wheels. So I don't know, like a Twitch Whisper would be better for me if you can. Um, it's basically just uh, clicking on my name in chat and then like, uh, okay, like you select Whisper from that drop down menu. Thanks for the idea about blocking the walls off of Harvey's. Yeah, I did it with like bookcases. So if you have like a bookcase in your catalog, you can kind of like block out the area that um, you need to be blocked out with, uh, with those. Oh, you designed outfits at Harvey's Walker? I didn't realize you could do that. Really want to make my second character a witch and surround her in forest. Yeah, that would be pretty. Um, I'm thinking about having some sort of like magic character, like either I can't decide if I want to be like a sorcerer or like um, a wizard sort of thing or more of like a witch sort of thing, but I definitely want some sort of magical character um, as long as it works well with the town. I was trying to like look at the exteriors that would create like a witchy house and I actually had trouble with it. Like. Uh, I don't know, it'd be interesting to see what other people do with like their witchy houses because personally like I didn't see a lot of super obvious options. Oh, have a good dinner Pika, thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, 
Okay, so now I've got it loaded on the Twitch Whisper. It was really inconvenient the way like Discord wasn't loading for me just then. So uh, now I'll go and add the friend. So be right back. I'm uh, actually still here. Just gonna go and BRB for. All right, we're good. And uh, let me know when your gates are open. I'll go ahead and check to see if they're already open. Your BRB screen is so peaceful. Oh, thank you. I use that like 7 p.m. Animal Crossing GameCube thing a lot for like my starting soon and my BRB and whatnot because it's uh, basically like the Forest Life tune in the form of like hourly music. Like the Forest Life tune runs through a lot of the GameCube hourly music. Uh, so let's try search for a friend. Alright, thank you so much for doing this for me, Jade Raid. I'm glad to kind of cross this off my list and not be on the hunt for a crown for much longer. And I hope it is a million bells still. I should have maybe looked that up. It's still a million bells, right? In past games it was. <laughs> Have any of you uh, bought like a crown or the royal crown or one of those like really expensive items? And uh, what about the throne? Is that not in this one? The closest I've seen is like that golden seat that's like a DIY, but I haven't actually seen like a throne in the game like the traditional ones that Elvis used to have. Ah, oh, that's great. I'm glad it didn't get more expensive. I was a little worried because of how expensive like everything is in this game, maybe. Uh, it would have like gone up in price like everything else did. Oh, what a pretty island too. I was wondering like uh, what your island might be like. Oh, it's so pretty. I love like all the flower beds. Like the use of dirt to like designate where the flower beds are gonna go. Oh, look at you waving. I have the crown, it's part of my royal outfit. Oh, you wear a royal outfit. Do you have like different outfits that you change like with your wand and stuff? I was thinking maybe I could set up some wand outfits for Glyneth, but um, I'm not really sure how to do it. I would probably have to order the clothes for it first since you can't like use the clothes once you assign them to your wand. All right, cool. So let's figure out where Nooks is. Uh, such a cozy island though, like this is definitely one where some love and development have already gone into it. Oh, so it's actually really close. I was just going the wrong way. <laughs> it's just like on the other side. Oh, and you got a little vending machine outside Nooks. I love that. Oh, God, I'm so dumb. Why did I go wandering in there? <laughs> I had a, like a little, I had a moment. Do you all remember though, like what I'm talking about? Like sometimes like in the older games, Nook actually did sell clothes, like in the GameCube version. I mean, come on, I'm not totally dumb. And in the past, sometimes Nook did sell clothes. Yeah, here we are. Abel's has a cozy spot by the ocean. I like how you kind of put it near this like piece that juts out to land, like the uh, little piece where you put the lighthouse. I have kind of a spot like that in my town and I don't know what to do with it yet. I have a frugal outfit with ripped tights, a witchy outfit with a purple ruffled dress and a black mage hat, my royal outfit and a custom design healer garb. Ooh, gosh, those sound awesome. Probably with my character, Glyneth, I would probably just make her have a million different, like, peasant outfits. <laughs> Maybe she could have, like, her woodcutter outfit, her, like, rainy outfit. Oh, here we go. A crown, a million bells. Ah, oh, this feels so, like, anticlimactic, though. Like, nothing's gonna happen. She's just gonna be like, here you go. <laughs> Great, that'll be a, a million bells. 
<laughs> no comment. Awesome. I guess I can try it on, although... I mean... It's not gonna go with this character, it's gonna go with a different character. But thank you so much, Jaderade. I really appreciate it. I've been, like, on the lookout for it ever since I got into the stock market and started to really, like, rack up the bells. Like, I'm like, I need the crown now. Because earlier in the game, it actually did show up at my shop. Back when I was, like, a lot poorer. Cha-ching! Yep, that was the only little, uh, climactic moment there. Ah, oh, thank you, Jaderade. <laughs> Your royalty. Ah, oh, seriously, thank you so much for that cheer. Thank you so much for the biddies. Ah, oh, it's good to see you. I still go go into the town hall to sell items sometimes. Yeah, it was kind of it was kind of a moment. Shame to have a moment like that on stream though. <laughs> um, yeah, like I know what you're talking about though, Taro, because I've done that a ton too. Because the town hall used to be like the resident services tent, and that used to be where Timmy and Tommy just like hung out, and there was like a party in there with like all the nook like family and that's where you went to go and sell stuff and buy stuff and everything and it took me a long time to like get rid of that like muscle memory uh, but thank you so much again for that and um i don't want to take up more of your time so i can head back to my town although your town was very pretty would have liked to maybe like explore it a bit more i've got like a hair in my mouth don't y'all hate when that happens all right got it <laughs> Been on the hunt for the perfect uh, stepping stone design. Yeah, there's so many of them. Um, it's really amazing to me, like how many different versions of the same sort of like pattern you can make. Like um, another one that I've seen a lot are like the spaced apart like wooden planks, which is kind of fun for me to see because I made something like that similar to that like back in Wild World. But um, yeah, those are really popular as well, like the spaced apart wooden planks. Yeah, thank you so much for having me for the crown. I can go ahead and put it in Glyneth's storage for like safekeeping, but it is gonna go for like a, a different character eventually. And uh, maybe since we've done like a little bit of room designing, as much as room designing I can do because I can't really do a lot right now with like the catalog limit, I could try to play around with the terraforming around where I want the museum to go and you all can kind of tell me different things that you think like look good or don't look good but yeah I might have to finally demolish this uh terraforming feature I made kind of on a whim I kind of liked it but it's not what I want to stay there Gosh, it's been raining like all day in my town. I keep thinking like, is this rainbow that someone mentioned, is it gonna show up? But I don't think so. And uh, did I get more mail? Ah, it feels so dark in here. Uh, maybe I need to put some lamps. Yeah, we'll put that safely away in storage before I, like, accidentally sell it or do something stupid. <laughs> Pudge, pretty sure rainbows don't appear at night. Yeah, I mean... Uh, he got my hopes up, though, because sometimes the villagers, like, a New Leaf would, like, mention when there was gonna be a meteor shower and things like that. Oh, is this from Pika again? Randomly came across this red rug, thought it would look good in your house. From Lexi, aka Pika. Oh, is that because um, earlier I wasn't sure? I didn't match up the name with the Twitch name. Let's go see how this red rug, rug looks. Oh, and hi, Sailor Venus. Welcome to stream. How are you today? Always a cheer up at the sight of like a Sailor Moon username. I need to make some like Sailor Moon alerts one day. So where did this rug go? Oh, it's still wrapped up in the present. <gasps> oh, yay! 
This is the one I wanted! I'm so excited! Alright, let's pull this up right away. This is like the traditional cabin style rug, like from past games. This is basically the cabin rug. Awesome! Let's go and center this over that area that I like. I don't know. Let, let me know what you all think. Am I overthinking it? I feel like I like it like one space away like this. But do you think that looks dumb? I mean, personally, I think I like how it looks just like one space away. Yay, thank you so much for that. That was like on my wish list. I'll have to go and cross that off later. Ah, oh, look at the rain pouring through the window there. So cozy. Is there a window on the other side so unrealistic because there's actually like a room on the other side? Oh, I love it though. I look forward to building this room up. I think if I put a lot of effort into it, I think it can look nice and cozy. Maybe I'll even make like a bookshelf in here like while I'm thinking about it. Ah, where did my workbench go? So to make a bookcase, you need five books and you need some wood. So where's my books at? <laughs> okay, so I literally only have five, so I'll have to order some more books sometime. And then I think it requires regular wood. So I think I'm good. Oh, you like it one space away too, Leah? Yeah, I wonder why. Like, I wonder why I like it like that so much, but it just like looks a little better. Oh, and I gotta make a tiny library sometime. Sailor Moon alerts are the bomb. Yes, I need to bake some. Uh, at one point I started re-watching the entirety of Sailor Moon just to like look out for like alerts moments, but then I got through like part of season one and then like kind of stopped my rewatch re -watch of it. I don't know, I think a good one would be like um, maybe one of um, Mars when she like runs into that wall like with her uh, bike or whatever, you know that moment where Mars like has a, a clumsy like crash with her bike, I think that one's really funny. All right, so did I successfully craft my bookcase amongst all my rambling. I wonder where it could go. Like you definitely like, in my opinion, you almost never want to put the bookcases like backwards like this because it just looks plain. Like you want to be able to see the books. I also probably want to customize it, don't I? Oh, and thanks for the feedback about the one space away. Don't the windows get shifted back when the side rooms are added? So it's like the little side rooms fit in between the front door and the windows. Yeah, I think after I said that, I was like, oh, that's probably, that's probably how it is. So clever that the game allowed that in a way, because I remember New Leaf, like the main room never had windows. All right, so where would the bookcase go amongst all this? I wonder if it would work better in this spot than that other thing did. Uh, I don't know if I like it there because it just looks too bulky and dark and you can't see the books. I think you gotta have it like this. I know you can rotate the camera around technically, but so often when you're like in your house, you only see it from certain angles. But yeah, maybe the bookcase can just kind of be like framing the room back here. And uh, the barrel can still go back there, probably. I, I like the barrel being in the room. Ah, 
know, but then that's like too close. Uh, let me move this stuff around a bit. That's a little better. I need to find a better music player though. All right, so let's flip this around if it'll let me. All right, that's good. And I need to find some things to like put on the log bench. Maybe the music player could go there for now. I would prefer the phonograph though. Ah, oh, the phonograph would look so much cozier. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Can edit more later. There's so many episodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been quite the rewatch just for alerts. <laughs> uh, plus you just get kind of sucked in or, you know, you're, you end up not watching for alerts because you're just like watching to enjoy the show. Oh, your Animal Crossing guy just arrived, Lenore. I'm sorry I missed that earlier. That's really exciting. I need to get myself one of those. Like, I put it on my to-do list that I really wanted to, like, order one of those guidebooks, and then I think I just never did it. But yeah, hopefully they won't, like, so sell out or anything. I hope I can get my hand on one of those. Um, did you order it through, like, Amazon? What island theme are you going for? I'm going for like a fantasy world building theme so like um i know that sounds kind of cheesy but just like uh, i'm a big like fantasy books fan so it just makes me happy to like feel like i'm wandering around in a fantasy world even my new leaf town Sidaloon was kind of like that in a way so it's just the theme that like appeals the most to me that works the best for my escapism but yeah like up here at the front like this is my elegant um, beachside palatial sort of area and then like elsewhere there's gonna be like the peasant area the magical forest like that sort of thing I'm gonna kind of divide the town up into different sections but it's the elegant like palatial area that I'm working on the most right now because that's what like lines up with my entrance You're fine, Charlie. I was happy to help you out. I kind of wish I bought more books while like they were at my shop. I think I bought like 15 and I was like, I'm good. But I'm already out of them again. I should have bought more books. <laughs> oh, hi, Romantic Doll. Thank you. I appreciate it. You bought the phonograph yesterday? You mean you, um, was that from our catalog party, Hallie? Because I think I remember that being one of our catalog party items. Oh, I started to dig this up, but I think I would need this if I'm going to build a bit bridge across it from it. Oh, and look at Tipper with her rainbow umbrella. That sounds super cute. Your entrance looks so good. Oh, thank you. Uh, the museum's given me a whole lot of trouble though, like that's the area I'm trying to work on and it's like It's like the death of me. It's like the bane of my existence is trying to figure out what to do with my museum uh, I should uh, I would say like let me know what you did with your museum for inspiration But I actually like very high-key try to avoid that stuff Like I really try not to like refer to other people's pictures when designing my town because I feel kind of bad about it but I know that that's a little silly. It's okay to draw inspiration, but I usually like it to just purely come from my head. Ah, oh, it's so much quieter without without all those waterfalls. I ordered uh, the guidebook back in March from Amazon. I think the estimated delivery is now mid-June. Understandable though, and they keep updating the listing to keep us informed. Oh, Romantic Doll, thank you so much for subscribing! Wow! Ah, uh, that means a lot! A brand new sub! Thank you so much for that support and uh, for that sub! Welcome to the Forest Fam and uh, I hope you enjoy those Animal Crossing emotes we have and the ad-free viewing and all your time here and uh, feel free uh, to uh, partake in the Discord if you'd like to use those emotes over there as well. Uh, but thank you so, so much for that. That really means a lot. 
And uh, let me just uh, finish bulldozing this. <laughs> I was thinking of having like a little pool out where the waterfall um, meets the river. Like have this part of the river get wider where it meets the waterfall as if like the waterfall is the part of like a little lake. And then maybe like have a, another waterfall above it on a cliff, but I'm gonna redo this cliff, so that's why I'm bulldozing it. Heading off now, a wonderful stream as always. Ah, oh, thank you, Jamskin. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a great night as well. Thanks so much for hanging out today. And I appreciate it. I was actually in some ways like I was kind of nervous for this stream because um, I haven't streamed in about four days and sometimes when you haven't streamed in a little while you almost like kind of forget how to do it. <laughs> so uh, I really appreciate all the love and support today guys. But yeah I feel so like refresh refreshed and well rested. Yesterday I was such a good girl in the sense that I had a meteor shower and even had a meteor shower party but like I was smart about it like I knew I would be up late, so I like I took a nap beforehand. And I was also like up kind of late watching the Survivor finale. I watch uh, I watched Survivor after all this time, so I was up late watching that too. Yeah, pretty much all done bulldozing this, and I do see a balloon present in the distance, just like mocking me. Like I know you're busy, get out your ladder and come and get me. Ah, <laughs> oh, these balloons, man. Uh, it is like a yellow balloon though, so it might be some bells. What if it's one of those 30k balloons? Gotta go pop it. <laughs> uh, and if I pop it right here though, it might like land on the weeds. I'm still gonna go for it though. Oh, did it disappear? Oh my god. I totally thought it would like land like right here or something. Oh my god. That sucks. Oh and hi Mr. A. Douglas. Uh, that's fine to lurk. I appreciate um, anyone hanging out here in whatever capacity. Happy to be here. Love the emotes. Oh, thank you, Romantic Doll. I really appreciate it. Oh, and you're fine, Charlie. I uh, hope you had a good time playing Splatoon. I tried to get into that at one point, and I just, like, kind of couldn't. <laughs> I am not really good at, like, those sorts of, like, aiming games where you have to, like, rotate the camera around while like shooting and st at stuff. I don't know. It's like I don't have the coordination for it. <laughs> Survivor is still going. <laughs> yes, they actually had this like all winter season, which I was super hyped about. And then it ended up being like, uh, well, I won't say it because I know that uh, Beth in Discord, I'm not sure if Beth is still here, but uh, she mentioned she was going to binge it this weekend, so I'm not going to like spoil anything about Survivor. But yeah, it's still going. Ah, oh, thank you, Beth. Ah, oh, that means a lot. Aw, oh, you guys are the sweetest. I wonder how I should do this little pool. Did you all know what I was saying about like the little pool that like empties out from the waterfall? Like should I make like a little section where the waterfall... I don't know, do you guys like to nest your waterfalls? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like do you like to like make a little indentation where the waterfall comes out? Because that's I guess what I'm trying to do. Oh, you're not good at it either, but still find it fun. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so I ended up making the indentation smaller than the actual mouth to the river, so let me fix that. 
My family has been watching Survivor for 20 years. It's our guilty pleasure. Yeah, it's kind of a guilty pleasure for me too. I know it's not very cultured of me to be watching reality TV, but what can I say? So something I kind of like the idea of is I actually like the idea of making this waterfall like a bit wider and therefore it enters into the pool like kind of in a wider way. So let me try that. All right, so let's get out the waterscaping. There's a big learning curve with Splatoon, but it's super fun. Definitely not for everyone though. Yeah, I'm sure like I could have gotten better at it um, if I had kept at it, but um, are you all familiar with like Persona? Uh, I ran into the same issues with Persona where I'm not really good at just like moving the camera around while moving. And it really irritates me. I don't know why I'm so bad at it. But like Animal Crossing, you don't have to do that. Like you walk around and I don't have to like adjust the viewpoint while I'm walking around. But like Persona, I had to do that all the time. And I didn't like that. <laughs> I remember watching it when I was young. I loved Rupert. I don't know if you remember him. Oh, <laughs> Rupert. I'm trying to think of like what my favorite survivor would be based off of uh, what you said. I I really like um, the season heroes vs. villains in general. Like that's my favorite season of all time. Highly recommend it if you want to see like survivor at its best. It's my favorite season. <laughs> we all have our reality TV guilty pleasures, yeah. I know some are into like Big Brother or I don't know. I don't know what other like big reality TV shows there are. Gosh, I don't know. Like, I almost don't remember like how you do this. How am I going to plug up this hole? Did I do this wrong? Because I want this to all be water. Maybe I got to start from the edge and not like create like a little island for myself like this. Yeah, I got to go like this. Alright, there we go. And then round the corners. Oh no, not that. Round the corners. They don't look quite round enough though. <laughs> like it just... Eh. I'd like it to look more like a circle. Maybe if I had it go forward just a little bit it would look more rounded. No, that doesn't really help. <laughs> Do you like playing Mario games or is Animal Crossing the only Nintendo game you like? Um, probably the other game that I've played the most of like in recent years is uh, Pokemon other than Animal Crossing, but not gonna lie, like Animal Crossing is my bread and butter and the main thing that I play. I even, I mean, in a lot of ways I consider like myself as like an attempt at an Animal Crossing content creator. Like before it was Twitch streaming, I was also an Animal Crossing blogger for a long time. I've like run an Animal Crossing blog since 2011. I've made a lot of patterns. I kind of just consider it like it's, it's my thing and if I dabbled in other things then I would be neglecting my thing in a way that's kind of like... Uh, and you would think that I would get bored of it, but I don't. It's just that much of a something that I enjoy. The only times I've ever gotten burned out of Animal Crossing were maybe when I just worked myself a little too hard on certain things. Like, uh, I got kind of burned out working on one of my paths once, but for the most part I just don't get tired of this game. That's uh, just pretty much like one of my favorite hobbies in general for like everything it encompasses. the world building, the kind of creativity in such a pleasant way, you know? It's like creativity in a stress-free way. I just love it. So let me see what it would look like if I made like a little cliff up here above the big waterfall and maybe there can be smaller waterfalls coming down from this cliff. I don't know, we'll see what we end up doing. I 
like Canada's worst, worst driver. Oh, I've never heard of that one, Alochi. It sounds kind of funny though. <laughs> I might have to look that up. Season three, Africa had such a crush on Ethan. Oh, Ethan was on this latest season, Lenore. I don't know if you still watch, but um, this latest season was like all winners and Ethan came back and he's kind of a cancer survivor at this point. Like. He's been through a lot as like an adult, as an individual, like in his life journey and to be able to come to, back to Survivor after all that, after all he went through. <laughs> oh, so you're, you like Big Brother Charlie? Yeah, I've never gotten into that one or never really seen it. I wonder what it would look like. I'm just trying to think how I could do this. What if I, there was like a little, um, what if there was a little island in the middle of like the waterscaping? And then on either side of the waterscaping, like there's waterfalls and then there's like a little island in the middle for something like, say a statue. I don't know, just trying to think, play around with stuff. you like round these corners make it look nice and oh no you can't really round the corners like that okay I don't know what to do then that was kind of what I was thinking of doing and it's not really working let me like take a step down and see what it looks like from far away Nice big waterfall. Just gotta figure out what to do, like, above it. <laughs> UK Big Brother got cancelled. Oh, that's a bummer. I can imagine a lot of TV shows are probably getting cancelled and stuff. I can see... I can see why. Your custom designs are so beautiful, absolutely obsessed with the moon path, and really want to incorporate into my island somehow. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I admit, I've been quite surprised by, like, the reception to the moon paths and stuff after all this time. I've actually gotten quite a few, like, messages about it in relation to New Horizons, which just is a little wild to me, because I made those paths, like, some of those paths I made back in 2014, some of them I made in 2018. And to see them, like, wanting to be used in, like, New Horizons Islands here in 2020, it, like, I don't know, it's really wild. But, um, I think it'll be a lot of fun to remake those sorts of patterns in New Horizons, and that's part of why I have a side town called Citaloon. Maybe to, like, remake my old New Leaf town under, like, the New Horizons umbrella, like, with all the terraforming, with the increased design slots with the transparency, like, see what sorts of things, like, I could come up with, um, for, like, a moon theme and New Horizons. And that's the town that I plan on remaking all my old, like, New Leaf QR codes with. Animal Crossing is my favorite game, too. Such great escapism. Yeah, it's, um, I've tried to articulate why it's, like, just the perfect hobby for me a few times and I think if you want to like read the the best articulation about it like I have an about page on my wordpress blog at aforcelife.com if you go to the about page on there I kind of like go into my Animal Crossing story a little bit and why I love it so much <laughs> they're all so awful it's funny all oh, the reality the reality tv shows we're talking about <laughs> I admire Ethan so much. I had a crush on him as a teen and as an adult. I just think he's so inspirational and kind. Yeah, he's almost too kind for Survivor. He, um, such a good guy. You can round the corners if it's three wide. Yeah, I think I was thinking about that as I was doing it, but I was still hopeful. I wish it was easier to round the corners. To me, I think it's within the capabilities of the game's graphics and the game's, the game's code. I wish they would let us round the corners. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Lenore, I think I saw that like when I was uh, doing a trade with you recently and I saw your flyover and I was really flattered. It kind of meant a lot to me that you would like use my pattern like that. <laughs> I like to watch Celebrity Big Brother UK and it was funny. <laughs> Season 17 is my favorite though. Yeah, I haven't watched Big Brother myself. So I wonder what this waterfall area could look like. It might could end up being too symmetrical. Maybe I'll plug one of these up. Maybe make like one big waterfall and one small one. Ooh, that looks kind of nice rounded like that. Ah, did I successfully make a rounded corner? I wonder if I like how that looks. I wonder if I have enough room to like put something here. And even if I don't like how this ends up enough to keep it forever, like, I think stuff like this just makes, like, valuable experimentation. Like, you never know until you try stuff in certain instances. You gotta just keep trying until you get to something you like. Ah. I guess that could also be another way to do it, is have, like, a waterfall there. No, probably not. I think overall I'm not sure if I like this because it's just such two like skinny waterfalls entering into this big one. I just don't know if I really like that after all, but I was kind of excited about it for like two seconds. Uh, let's see how it looks from far away though. I guess I don't despise it, like if you put the right sort of thing in that spot there in the middle. Maybe I should, like, leave it for a day and, like, see how I feel. Think on it. My island theme um, is purple slash celestial, so it fix fits perfectly. There are moons and stars and purple flowers everywhere. Oh, I'd love to see that sometime, uh, Sailor Venus. It sounds lovely. I was thinking that if I made a Citaloon 2.0 in uh, New Horizons, I'd love to just really like play up the symmetry. Like Athalia here, I'm actually in general like as much as I can trying to do asymmetry when I can help it. Like um, have like natural arrangements, but with Citaloon I would probably uh, try to return the focus on symmetry and just go hog wild with those moon paths. Maybe try to make new moon mosaics and um, I think it would be a lot of fun, but I gotta work on Athalia first. <laughs> Everyone in Canada's worst driver, it's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, are you from Canada, Lochi? I don't know if I put that together. Terraforming in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, I have st such a struggle with it. It's, um... I don't know, like, I feel like I found it easier to landscape towns when terraforming wasn't a thing. Like, back when I was just gifted the layout that, like, I had to work with, and then I would just brainstorm on ways to work with that layout. Now that I get to actually change the layout, like, it's kind of difficult for me. Like, I, I have trouble with it, but I think everyone does, <laughs> for the most part. It would probably look nicer with some waterfall, with some flowers or something in between the waterfalls. Yeah, uh, I was hoping like a statue. Like, do you all know, do any of you have like Michelangelo's David or not David, but maybe even like Venus de Milo or something? Like, what is the size of Venus de Milo? Would she fit right there? Ooh, that doesn't sound like my thing, Charlie. The the gross eating episodes were always like my least favorite part of Survivor. <laughs> like, I, uh, I don't care to see stuff like that. That's so gross. Oh, and you're fine, Mercy. Oh, you're from Ohio, which is almost sub-Canada. That's funny. <laughs> I didn't get to some of my ore today. Better get to that a little bit.
the Venus statue is a thing, yeah. Um, red has it sometimes, which um, I've only had red twice and none of the times he's come have has he had like a single Greek statue or anything marble at all, but um, yeah, I'm on the lookout for more red visits and more marble statues to decorate my town with. Yeah, I've been live for about three hours. I might think about since um, I've knocked out a few things on my to-do list, like working on my house a little bit, working on um, terraforming a little bit. And this is sort of at the stage where it's like I want to like think on it more. Like as much as I hate symmetry, maybe what would look better is something symmetrical. And when I say hate symmetry, I don't mean that in general. I just mean for this particular town I'm trying to avoid it, but maybe sometimes I gotta do it. Let me just try something out real quick. So let me like plug up this stuff. If it'll let me. <laughs> Why is it doing that? But yeah, what I was thinking, in which I really want to like experiment with before I head out, what if you just did like a smaller waterfall emptying into the big one? The statues are probably going to be 1.5 sized and drive you up the wall, yeah. Like, um... Another one that kind of does that to me is the shell fountain. It kind of feels like the shell fountain should be like smaller than it is. Like why the heck isn't that thing like one by one? But the shell fountain is something like two by one. All right, so this is like the smaller waterfall. Let's see how it looks like emptying into the bigger one. Just kind of being like a cascading waterfall. I don't know, it might look a little too neat and clean for me. Good night, Helly. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow, possibly. I was looking in your stream a little earlier today, but I got too distracted to like say hi or chat because like Twitch rolled out like this change to like the way their site looks, and so I kind of had to redo some of the stuff for my um, aesthetics on my profile because. They redid like a lot of things around like your offline page and around Twitch. So I was kind of busy like adjusting those things, but yeah, I was uh, lurking earlier. Hope you have a great night. The shell fountain is one and a half spaces. Interesting. I didn't even know furniture could really be a half space. But yeah, I've had trouble like centering it on things before. Like you see how it's not really centered on this like flower bed? This flower bed is two by two and you can't center it no matter how many times you try. But I do love it though, it's super pretty. Uh, so I wonder if something like that would work after all and then maybe you could still make like a little island in the middle for like a statue. Yeah, I'll just have to think on it. The 1.5 times 1.5 items are difficult to work with for me. Gosh, I didn't even realize that that was a thing, but yeah, just looking at this, I guess that um, pattern on the ground is too spaces wide and it looks like that fountain occupies like that first square a lot and then just like a little bit of that second square <laughs> so yeah i guess i see what you all mean oh enjoy your lurk erica i might actually go ahead and uh wrap up stream pretty soon uh since pretty much accomplished what I wanted to accomplish and I'll uh, definitely be brainstorming more like off stream about what I'm gonna do for these areas and I'll be back tomorrow for like a town visit stream. Tomorrow's our cozy like Friday night uh, Glyneth goes to visit other islands sort of thing. 
Oh, Pudge is gifting me something before we leave. Thank you, Pudge. I wonder what color toy box it is. What if it's a color I haven't had yet? Oh, it's a green one. I do like the green toy box. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Let me go see if um, there's anyone that we can raid since we were raided earlier. It might be nice to pass along the love. Cool. Um, I do see Dagnal. We have uh, raided him a few times. Uh, maybe we can go raid him and say hi to him before we leave. Thank you all so much for watching again. See you next time. And I hope you enjoy uh, hanging out in Dagnal's channel. He's a really fun Animal Crossing streamer as well. Really like hanging out over there. And um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for some uh, town visits. Thank you so much.